Hey, yo, everyone. Testing, testing, mic check. Do I sound all right? How y'all doing? Oh. 12 months, damn. CZ, thank you for the 12 months sub. Thank you for sticking around so long. Oh my god, Draken. Doodle 78 disappointment, and then it just ends there. <laughs> yeah, I, I I usually like telling Draken when I'm streaming, so I guess he got salty, and now I have to do 10 squats for letting him know that my stream started. But hello, Bebop, hello, CZ, hello, Draken. You're not welcome here, but I guess I will do 10 squats just for the heck of it, because I really do need that exercise. I really do need it. <laughs> One, two, ooh. Ooh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am now ten squats stronger. I interrupted your study time? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know how you were studying. I wish you luck with the rest of your study. But how are y'all doing today? How's the gang doing? How's the, the doodle stream gang doing? <laughs> also, wait, I just realized. My stream labels, wait. They're not up to date. Have my stream labels not been updating? I am now 10 farts stronger. Do you just fart 10 times? <laughs> Every fart makes you stronger. I just realized that the labels over here on the left of me saying like donations and like subscriptions and followers, they're not up to date. I thought I updated them before. The fuck? Yeah, it's reading from a file, but huh? Have you guys, have you guys ever noticed that, um, them changing the past few streams? I think, okay, I need to write that down on my list of things to fix. <laughs> uh, I don't think any, anyone really super pays attention to it, but not sure, okay. I thought I already fixed it, fix stream labels. It doesn't seem like they're updating. Cause I remember I fixed them before. Well, anyway, I'm fine with working on stream stuff. You know, working on stream stuff is very rewarding for me. I never pay attention to those. They could just see say piss in every box and I wouldn't notice. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it's the same thing for, for me with other streams too. I, I didn't even notice until now. Thank you for the fart. I'm everyone's god by now. <laughs> if every fart makes you stronger. Damn, we got a farter in here. We, we we got a farter in here? The cat? Are you are you a farter? Or are you a shitter? A shitter? Do you fart or you do you shit? Or do you do both? Also maybe piss? <laughs> I have a new Discord profile pic now. It says eat ship do shit. And it's by Bebop. And I saw it and I, I just needed to make it my profile picture. I that I think that's the first time I've changed it in like almost a year now. Almost a year now. I've had the same Discord profile pic for such a long time. That's you. That both. You're a farter and a shitter and a pisser. Oh damn, we got a we got a mad lad in the house. Well, join the gang, because I do all three as well. That's why I'm so powerful. <laughs> but, yeah, okay. So I will fix the stream labels after stream. Um, I found that, like, I don't like doing my work work, like my day job work. But whenever I do, like, stream work, I always feel, like, very, very uh, accomplished. And... 
happy doing stream work. <laughs> it's very rewarding. That's the word I was looking for. I'm out of control. You try to control me. You, you, you just try to control me. You can't. <laughs> but anyway, today we'll be playing some more Hotel Dusk and then we'll switch over to Rune Factory 5 for just a little bit because for me, I, I'm i not really the type to stream games like Rune Factory 5 because it's just like a lot of like the same stuff over and over. It's not like super uh, interactive, I guess. Like, Hotel Dust is kind of like the same thing, but I don't know. It's kind of different. I like spending my own time on it. But I have had Rune Factory 5 on my mind since it came out yesterday, and I've really been looking forward to it. So I wanted to show it to you guys. I dare not even try good. You know you know your place. Be See, look, guys. Bebop knows his place. Y'all need to know yours. You can't control me. Although you can try. But you will regret but yeah, so let's get to some of the hotel desks. By the way, I hope you guys have had at least decent days today. Hopefully they are good days, but if they're not good days, then fuck your bad days. Bad days are shit. But also, wait, have I told you guys about um, how I work from home? I know that most people here know that like I work a... A remote job at least like for now it's remote because of the pandemic but I picked up two magic spells in Rune Factory and combat became a joke oh yeah spells in Rune Factory are like OP you just spam them over and over and then you bring stuff to replenish your RP hey Cabal welcome welcome but um so during my job I like to wear like pajamas and I look disheveled during my morning meetings because I am not a morning person, so I don't usually turn on my camera when we're doing like uh, our morning meetings, our Zoom calls. But I guess my manager noticed that, and like a, lo a lot of the other um, people do that too. I don't know if they do it for the same reason, but they don't turn on their cameras. Only like a few of them, and my product manager does. But, um. Mm. But my manager was like, oh, you know, it, it, I would really appreciate it if, like, more people could, like, turn on their cameras during our, at least our one morning meeting that we have regularly. And I'm like, okay, I can do that. I don't want to. I don't want to turn my ca on my camera. Turning on camera and video calls is so fucking awkward. I don't want people staring at my disheveled face. Oh my god, what the heck happened? <laughs> Hey, er, hey, a real gamer! I live somehow? Oh no, what happened? Are you okay? I think... What is wrong with my, uh, computer? Let me turn... Let me turn, uh, off Google Chrome. For some reason, it's been running a lot slower today. There's a bottle of bourbon on the bar. Ooh, who's coming in? Who's there? Watch it be Melissa. Oh no, it's this chick. If you see any news, you'll see why the world is burning, that's why. Oh no. Well, the wor world has been burning for the past two years. Let's, let's just say that. I don't want to bring world news into this chat at the moment, but I will probably take a look at the news afterwards. It's sweater weather in Canada? Wait, are you talking about global warming? Oh yeah, it yeah, the world is going to shit. Well, if it isn't Mr. Hyde. Are you in Canada? <laughs> Have you tried plugging it out and then in your PC? In my ass? Maybe. Oh, you. Are you the only one here? Yeah, bartender had to step out, but he's coming back. Yes, I should have expected that in this place. So, are you heading for bed, Mr. Hyde? I would hate to interrupt your leaving. She's telling me to get the fuck out. Nope, Barkeep asked me to watch the place until he gets back. Which will probably take a while. Oh, I see. I can't imagine why I'm asking you this, but would you like to have a drink together? Oh, damn. 
<laughs> I like how both of them has just no. <laughs> Unplug and plug directly into the ass. Works 99% of the time. Well, I guess I'm the 1% then. Yeah, they're just varying degrees of rudeness of saying no. I'm just gonna say no thanks. Sorry, maybe later. Oh, really? Okay, I get it. Get what? You're not used to sharing a drink with a young, attractive woman such as myself. What the fuck, lady? No or no? Yeah, no or no, rudely. <laughs> Think what you want, I still ain't drinking with you. <laughs> oh, it's 920 already. Yeah, we made we already made some good progress through the this chapter last stream. Alright, lady. I guess I'll talk to you. You mind? Not at all. She looks like she's in a good mood compared to earlier. Never mind, I think I'll drink alone tonight. <laughs> hmm. Hans grab the the flamen wa wa wafer beer is much more flammable than water? Oh yeah, it is. It is more flammable than water. Why am I walking so slow? I think I noticed this uh, last stream too, that we walk really slow in this room. It's a poster of a bottle of booze. Now that's classy. Nice plant. Wonder if they water it with leftover drinks? <laughs> What the? Imagine being a plant and just like getting watered with alcohol. You would just fucking die. There's an old juke in the corner of the barn. Oh, it's time for a puzzle with a jukebox. Okay. What's playing? Oh, should I play something that she likes? Oh no, this is the soundtrack. I, I think this is the soundtrack to the game. Nice. Hmm. Plant. Ah! No! No, not alcohol again! I like how you can see the, the text, the text going off the side a little bit. I don't know if that's a bug with the emulator. Like at the very edge. Yeah. Doo -doo. Oh, I like this. I like this song. Let's. Yeah, let's play that. Oh! Who's there? Oh, it's summer! Everyone's just drinking. Like, God damn it, Kyle, stop thinking beer is water. Maybe that's why he always. Actually, that doesn't make sense, because he had a hangover earlier, so if he was drinking all the time, he would just not have a hangover. <laughs> Summer, don't you have a book to plagiarize or something? Oh my god! Kyle is savage! <laughs> so this is where you have sought refuge from the weight of this cruel world. <laughs> the dialogue in this game. I thought you might be in your room, but I found it empty. You've been looking for me? Why? Our last discussion ended somewhat on somewhat awkward terms. I had hoped to start anew. No thanks, Shakespeare. I got no interest in anything else you have to say. Your words wound me, sir. I had hoped to find you in a more charitable mood. Perhaps you did not appreciate the gravity of my earlier confession. The truth remains that I revealed a secret which I had guarded for ten years. And to a traveling salesman that I had met not hours before. Yeah, uh, Summer is pointing out the plot holes in this whole game. Where it's like he just met him hours ago and then he revealed to him like a secret that he hadn't told anyone in 10 years. You are a curious fellow, sir, and I find myself in awe of your gruff nature. AKA, um, I find you really attractive because you're disheveled and have no more faith in the world. Hey, Hazy! Welcome, welcome. Are those, are those your emotes? Hell yeah. Oh, that's cute. Just stopping to say hi? Thanks for stopping by, Hazy. I hope you're having a good time. You said you started a job recently, right? I hope that's going well. And I hope... Are you Are you still in school? Sorry, my memory is like, bleh. But anyway, I hope things are going well for you. And thanks for stopping by. 
and so I thought we could engage in a further bit of light conversation. Mr. Hyde? Yeah? I'm finding that drinking alone is just as sad and pathetic as I thought it would be. <laughs> hey, hey girl, I like to drink alone. Are you calling me sad and pathetic? I'll be leaving now. Do enjoy the remainder of your thrilling evening. Yes, the job is going great. I'm glad it's going great. You know, like a bad job can really take a lot out of you, but a good job is, is good. So I'm glad you found one. It's hard to find a good one. <laughs> Iris leaves the bar. I say. What? Who was that woman? She's the dame staying in 216. Name's Iris. Iris? Oh no, that's not right. <laughs> oh no! Is there another connection here? What's not right? Oh, it's nothing really. You look weird without your glasses. I just had the feeling I'd seen that young woman before. By the way, Mr. Hyde, I have just remembered a small nugget that may be of interest to you. Go on. You recall asking me about Osterzone, yes? Well, during our chat, I failed to mention something about the image on my bookmark. Three years ago, you see, that particular painting was on display, and I already know, dude. Somebody nicked it. Oh, you knew already? Yeah. But but how could you possibly know this? Because I, I snoop in everyone's fucking business and everything's connected. Not two hours ago, you did not even know the name of Osterzone. How did you manage to find out about the theft so quickly? I did a little research. Research, you say? And just how did you manage this? Because there's no internet. So how the fuck did he know without Googling it? I ain't playing 20 questions with you, pal. See you around. Wait, please, Mr. Hyde. Just one moment, please. As I sp 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 suspected, you, sir, are no ordinary salesman. Yes, yes, it's clear as day now. It all makes sense. What are you assuming about me, dude? <laughs> you figure something out? Draken, no! <laughs> Draken! No! <laughs> it's already hot in my room! Okay. Okay. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know it's cold, but like, then my mom turned on the heat and then it turned hot and I don't, I don't have enough strength to open up the window without breaking it. Like my, my window is like weird and it's broken. Also pollen. <laughs> Just a bit of deductive reasoning is all. I am, after all, a mystery novelist first and foremost. I couldn't help but attempt to grasp your true nature. A thieving mystery novelist. <laughs> Franz nubs don't have a dexterity? Yeah. Just imagine me trying to open up a window and I stretch. I'm just like, oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! I'm trying to open, but I do not have the de dexterity to, like, you know how windows, you have to, like, like, push together two things and then lift it, like some windows are like that? I just don't, I just can't do it. <laughs> it's a silly, a silly image. You claim to know nothing of Osterzone or his work. And yet you seem quite well informed on this matter. How is that? You are also employed as a salesman, but lack even the most basic of people skills. <laughs> so what can we deduce from this, hmm? Maybe I can deduce my fist to your face, but that would shut you up. But enough wordplay. It is time to, as they say, lay my cards on the table. You, sir, are on the trail of Osterzone's stolen masterpiece. Yes, a work such as Angel Opening a Door must be insured for a pricely, princely sum. Oh, he's got this all wrong. Windows need to be frange accessible? Yeah, they do. We got a lobby to make everything frange accessible, since we will be taking over the world. 
in the near or distant future. Franz writes, everyone. Franz writes. So, I surmise that you're in the employ of this insurance company. You have been hired to track down the painting and return it to the rightful owners. Ha! <laughs> you are totally wrong! The Salesman Act is nothing more than a mink stole on a cheap lady of the night. Now that, sir, is deduction. Behold the power of my reasoning and wit. You done making stuff up? What? Are you telling me that this is not your purpose here? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Oh, but I had deduced. I was so certain of it. Well, I'm certain that you're an idiot, and only one of us is right. And you couldn't deduce your way out of a wet sack? <laughs> oh no, Kyle! As soon as we all get our frange mechs, we can take over? Yeah, yeah, like the one that Eli uh, drew for, for me. The little frange mech. It's the frange mech holding another frange, and he's crying. Oh, that, that picture was so great. I love it. So that's why your books sell like fried crap at a county fair. I see. I suppose I should thank you for such honest advice. But know this. The more you resist, the more determined I am to learn about you. I remember this conversation from before. I, I do enjoy the bar conversations that we have. I think like this whole hour is spent in the bar. I think. I'm not sure who we interrogate at the end. I think it's Helen. Where'd you meet her? I think perhaps it was... No, I'm sorry, Mr. Hyde. I fear my memory has failed me. But if I manage to lift the fog from my mind, I shall notify you post-haste. Make no mistake about it, Mr. Hyde. I shall discover your true identity. A gay man after his lover. Summer leaves the bar. I've had about enough of that guy. Let's have some more bourbon. The glass is filled with bourbon. How I've missed you. Hmm? Oh, it's Louie. Yo, hi. Thanks for watching the place. Anyone swing by while I was out? Two birds showed, but they both left. Aw, oh, man. Wish they'd stuck around until I got back. You're better off this way. Trust me. That's cold, Hyde. I thought you were supposed to be working with people now. Can't never let a customer leave angry, dig? Louie, you're making my head hurt. Sorry, man. Didn't mean to bring you down. Wasn't you. I think I'm done here. Okay, cool. Well, bar's open till midnight, so swing back if you get bored, yeah? We still gotta have that drink together. Wait, did I promise to have a drink with Louie? I don't remember that. Hmm, what's here? There's some black and white posters. Oh look, it's a pretty lady. There's some pop art on display. There's some matches. Why doesn't anyone ever hand out lighters? What's this? Oh, it's the match puzzle! It's the match puzzle. I fucking hated this. Are you a puzzle nut? Try this mind-bending match problem. The goal is to create three squares. The hard part is to do so by taking away four of the matches. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, wait, no, this is fucking easy. There. I guess I thought this was really hard because I played this game when I was like... When did this game come out? Oh, I'm opening up my browser and everything's going slow-mo. Hotel Dusk? It was released... 2007! Okay! Oh boy, okay, now I know why I didn't know how to do the puzzle. Cause I was like... Like, fucking ten. <laughs> I was ten years old. <laughs> okay. 
Oh yeah, of course a 10 year old would... A 24 year old would know how to do a puzzle better than a 10 year old. <laughs> Why can't I talk to Louie? Oh wait, I have to do the talk thing, right? Can I do the talk thing? Oh yeah. You mind? Need a refill, my man? Not yet. Then give me just a sec here, yeah? I'm polishing glasses, but I'll be done soon. Okay, so I guess I'll have to come back later in the, in the night. Later in the chapter. Oh, Rosa! Look at her! <laughs> She's just posing like that. I like that pose. It's like super, super duster pose. Oh, Mr. Hyde, good evening. You're still cleaning? Oh, yes, clean, clean, clean. That's all poor Rosa does. This old hotel's about to fall apart, you know? Sometimes I think I'm the only thing that keeps it going. Besides, the key to good housekeeping is sticking with it. Can't let dirt win. Guess not. So where were you, huh? Did you stop by the bar? Yeah. Oh, and how was it? Not bad. <laughs> Kyle! I love you! That's good to hear. Dunning decided to let Louie manage the bar all by his lonesome. That boy. When it comes to cleaning, he just wants to loaf. But he loves that bar. Seems so. Well, that's Louis for you. I wish he would put the same effort into helping me. But will he? Land sakes, no. How long has that bar been here? Oh, quite a while now. I heard it was open to celebrate the hotel's 10th anniversary. Mm-hmm. Me? I think it's too small. But folks seem to be taken, taken with it anyway. Kyle smiles. Me. Fan franges. <laughs> It's always full, and the folks there always leave me a terrible mess. Hmm? What? What? What are you saying what to? So when was the 10th anniversary? Well, let's see. Oh, it interpreted the colon key as the emoji. Huh. Yeah, I'm... Well, actually, that that's quite normal. The colons are um, on Twitch and on Discord, too. Uh, if you type a colon, it'll start searching emojis for you. It's like a, a quick shorthand. It's like a shorthand way to search them. Well, let's see. The hotel was built 20 years ago. That was 1959, so... 1969. If my math is right, and I, and I just know it is. 10 years ago. Wait a second. That incident with the missing kid happened about 10 years ago. So I heard about a strange incident that went down 10 years ago. You know anything about that? Oh... You didn't know that? Well, you learned something new today. It's pretty it's pretty uh convenient. I always use it to to search up uh emotes. Like if I know a channel's uh prefix, like mine is doodle78, I I can just type that in and it'll give me a bunch of the, the emotes that I have. So the story's true? So you heard, did you? I can just guess who told you. Little bird. I just bet. Well, I'm a terrible liar, so I guess I can't pretend not to know. So it's true? Yes, Mr. Hyde, it's true. Every word. That's interesting. Ha! Oh, Rosa fooled you, but good. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Hyde. What? Oh, you should have seen your face. Who? No, I'm afraid it's just a rumor. But when I started here, I thought it was true, too, and for a fact. Rosa, you made a joke. Did it hurt? <laughs> oh, hush now! <laughs> oh my god, Kyle. I tend to scroll and hunt for emotes or specifically type the command of ones I memorize. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
the, the search works for any part of the emote too. So like if you type in like blush or something, it will show you like all the emotes that have blush in it. Not like not just starts with blush. So it's like, it's really nice for finding things that like finding certain moods of emotes. Like if I want to send the, the hair flush emote, I just type in flush. <laughs> Oh, hush now. Anyway, when I first asked Dunning if it was true, he flat out laughed at me. And here I was, hoping to get a peek at a ghost. What silliness. That's one word for it. Dunning says that this kind of thing happens all the time. What with hotels changing owners and closing down and so forth. Well, rumors get started and folks talk about ghosts and murderers and there you go. Oh, look at me, chatting away like I have all the time in the world. So much cleaning still to do, and look at the time! Busy, busy, busy! I'll get out of your hair. Oh, but, Mr. Hyde, maybe you want to hear more about this hotel's history, hmm? Well, if I were you, I'd ask Dunning himself. Yes, I would. I'm sure the old coot is around somewhere. I'll do that. But I'm scared of Dunning! He always gives me bad ends! <laughs> oh, I didn't read that last part. Whoops. Okay, so where to go, where to go? I'm sure the game will stop me at one point. Let's see, can I actually ask Dunning? Is he in his room somewhere? Well, well, well. No, buddy. All right. Oh, my laptop is just chugging. By the way, have you guys? How have your guys' days been so far? What's been happening? Sure where to go next. Your day has been pretty calm? I'm glad. I saw the, the food that you made earlier. It looked tasty. Can I meet Mila? Or is the door locked? I can't imagine if Mila was in there and heard someone trying to open the door, that would be kind of terrifying, wouldn't it? Good sabbatical month for me? Really taking it slow? What's, uh, what's sabbatical month? Is that like a religious thing? But I'm glad that you're taking it slow and relaxing. Like, oh, is that Sabbath? I like being on the roof. Where's that Helen lady? Is she here? Oh, month where you do nothing, no job, no studies? Oh, that sounds nice. It's like a little vacation month. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just wasn't sure, because I know there's, like, stuff like Lent and stuff before Easter. Okay, these two are... I'm just knocking on everyone's doors. Maybe I could go visit Louie. Maybe that talk with Rosa was enough time, but... Hmm. Okay, I think I'll just go back down and talk to Louie.
Louie, bro, here I come. All right, bro, bro. I need to talk to you. You mind? Uh. No. No. I need something to do. Oh, there he is. There's Dunning. Oh, wait, that looks like... What is he doing? Oh, it's Dunning. Hey there. Look at that back. Well, he has no ass, really. <laughs> he, he does not have an ass. Huh? Oh, it's you, Mr. Hyde. What do you need? Tell me about the hotel's history. It's history? Now, why in the Sam Hill you want to go ask him about that nonsense? I'm a curious guy. Look, I was just down on the bar, and someone told me a little bit about it. Said the bar was built for the hotel's 10th anniversary. That true? So you heard, did you? When was this place built? Oh, about 20 years ago, give or take. Back then, place was what you call real popular. That back boy? <laughs> yeah, Dad Dunning's got a real dad bod. <laughs> Used to have bands playing the restaurant, even. And weekends were out of control, wild parties and everything. Sounds like it was the place to be. Yep, used to be alright. But by the time I took over, the place had changed. No more parties or fancy bands, reputation just went down the crapper. How long you been running the place? About five years now. I've been thinking about starting up a business when I saw this hotel for sale. The place was going for a song, so I bit. Talk about a sucker. Should have just buried my cash in a damn hole. I thought a hotel would be a perfect way to make some quick scratch. Of course, after opening, I did nothing but break my back every damn day. Can't tell you how many times I thought about hightailing it back to my old job. But I tightened my belt and just kept her running. Thanks to good people like yourself, of course. So what were you staring at when I came in? Pictures? Pictures? Yep, take a look up above the piano. See them frames? Got lots of old shots of the place in there. They're all picture pictures of guests in the restaurant. Most of them are from before my time here. That old, huh? Real comedian, ain't ya, Hyde? Of course, they're all up and gone now. Shucks, even a hard ass like me can get a little bit weepy thinking about the past. Ooh, what was he before? Well, what did you do before you ran this place? What, you mean my job? Ain't no business of yours. Hey, just curious. You're a real piece of work, Dunning. Makes me wonder how you got started. Well, I'll save you the trouble of listening. Ain't a man alive with a life story more boring than mine. I ain't got a damn thing you'd want to hear about. If you say so. Well, he's pretty defensive of his past, so there's probably something happened. Uh, that's enough of hearing me, John. I gotta get back to work. I won't stop you. By the way, Mr. Angel in 213 called me up a few minutes ago. Told me that whole mess of his is taken care of. I found his missing stuff in his own room. Oh, found his missing stuff in his own room, just where I told him it was. Maybe you could quit this gig and go tell fortunes. Don't I know it. Last thing I needed was the fuss sniffing around my joint. Dunning heads out of the restaurant. Let's take a look at those pictures. Uh, 
and nothing useful here. Anything interesting? Looks like a photo, but it's really a painting. That's actually kind of clever. Oh yeah, photorealistic paintings. I'm a lurk? Yeah, no problem. You guys are welcome to lurk. This photo is old and hard to see. This photo must be older than Helen. Oh my fucking god. Looks like a photo of people who stayed here before. Looks like they're having a good meal. Okay, also, I remember we were looking for numbers. One, two, three, four, five. I think there's supposed to be seven. I think we already found this one. This was like the last one that we saw. 33. Yeah, that's the last one. So I kind of want to try looking around for the numbers, but then again, where would I find them? Maybe there's one in the bar, actually. I should I should look. Or we should look. Well, 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 well. Wait, is there one by the thing up here? Ah! No, don't stop me! Mr. Hyde! What now? You're still here. That a problem? No, no, just the opposite. It's perfect. Just perfect. Rosa, slow down a second. What do you want? What do you want, Rosa? Oh, good. I knew you'd agree if I asked nice. Yes, I did. I, I didn't agree to anything. I'm not talking to Summer again. Just listen. It's about the restaurant. See, sometimes when our guests order wine, they like to keep the labels. Well, when that happens, we always deliver it to their room later. But I'm as busy as can be, and Lewis has to run that darn bar of his. And so neither of us can spare the time to do it. And then when I saw you, I thought... You thought I'd do it. Oh, aren't you sharp? Yes, that's my thought. Exactly. I do this, and you're just going to give me a dustpan? Hush, I will not, and I'll give you a free breakfast to make up for it. Keep talking. <laughs> the way to his heart is through his stomach. You've got fresh blueberry muffins and my very own Spanish omelets. Sounds good. Oh, you'll do it? Oh, say you will, Mr. Hyde. Fine. Who wants the damn label? Language! And label goes to Mrs. Parker up in room 212. The old woman. It's quite a touching story, actually. Yes, it is. You see, Mrs. Parker ordered wine ten years ago when she came with her friend. So tonight, the poor woman ordered that very same bottle of wine. I didn't want to snoop, but I watched her drink it, and she looked so sad. Well, when she finished, she started talking about this and that, and she told me how she wanted to take the label home with her. I, I remember, I think Helen has a sad past. Who was Helen here with ten years ago? I'm sure I have no idea. I told you all I know, Mr. Hyde. Why are you so nosy? Just my way. But if Rosa had to guess, I'd say it was her son. Yes, I would. Her son? Oh, I can't say for sure, but I'm sure it's true. You don't say. I just know it. I saw how she talked to him back then. I know she's just like me. Just like you? Hold on, how is Helen Parker just like you? Her son, silly, he lives far away, just like my boy. You sure about that? Of course, well, kind of. Stop confusing me. Listen, I may not know the first thing about her personal life, but I know I'm right. I'd stick my mop on it. Wait, you have a son? Yes, I do, Mr. Hyde. Is that a surprise to you? My boy lives in Manhattan. Is her son going to be important in this story? She just has a surprise son? What's he like? Your son, I mean. And what's he doing in New York? He works on Wall Street. No kidding. Rosa the Wonder Maid and her stockbroker's son. You pegged him true, Mr. Hyde. He went to a good university and found himself a nice place to work. Yes, he did. 
I bet you're proud of him. Mmm, yes. I guess it seems like that from your point of view. You're not proud of him? It's not that, Mr. Hyde. It's just he doesn't understand me one bit. Well, you're a pretty complex person. Do you know what he said to me? Do you? Is your son gonna end up being the leader of Nile or some shit? Seriously. If- I- I forget exactly because, like, the details in the story are really fuzzy to me. But if he does end up being, like, the leader of Nile, I'm gonna, like, fucking throw hands. Hemwo! Hey, cries! Welcome, welcome. How you doing? He told me to quit my job. Can you imagine? Come to Manhattan, he says. We'll live together, he says. Sounds like a nice offer to me. Oh, and what about it strikes to you as nice? I do good, honest work here. I support myself with my own two hands. I'm not so old that I need my son to take care of me. And I'm sure not changing my life just because he says so. Uh-uh, not me, not Rosa. This is a familiar tune. She sounds just like my mother. Well, thank you in advance, Mr. Hyde. So where's this wine bottle? Well, let's see. Two of them are in the kitchen, and one is in the restaurant. Sounds like the old lady has a serious drinking problem. She oh, hey, Koro! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> How's it going? How was the rest of the stream? Also, shout out to Koro. Koro was... I raid with one bop? Well, one bop is as good as ever. I'm not gonna raid. No, do not... Do not raid yet. Uh, shout out... Koro. Oh, subscribe for three, 13 months? 13 months. 13 months. Thank you, Koro. You're playing art. Yes, yes. Wait, did you end up doing art at the end? Or... Or was your category just not Shin Megami Tensei? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, Koro. You're a bop too. Welcome, Eshlo. How's it going? How's it going, people coming from the raid? Oh, you didn't change your category from last stream. Oh, okay. But how's the rest of your stream, Koro? We are playing um, more Hotel Desk. We are enjoying the witty character dialogue. Two bops, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get that little bee bop emo. Everyone's a bop if they wish to bop, yes. Anyone can be a bop. But I hope you guys enjoy your stay here. We're just doing some comfy uh, Hotel Desk and then we're gonna be playing some Rune Factory 5 later. Uh, probably not very much Room Factory 5, but just like maybe a day or two in the game. But we'll see. Okay, so three guests ordered wine tonight. Not one guest uh, <laughs> drank three bottles of wine. I feel like if someone dra drank three bottles of wine during dinner, that they would like just fucking die. The dragons are fire are cute, that's all. I just got to the part where you get the dragon. And yes, the dragon is very cute. It's huge, but it looks like it could, if you minified it to like miniature size as a plushie, it would be adorable. But uh, all right, three guests order wine. Mrs. Parker only had one. Mr. Summer himself drank the second bottle. How the fuck do people drink whole bottles of wine at once? And the third was young woman in 216, Iris, I think her name is. Anyway, I was so busy when I was clearing off the tables and cooking and so forth. And well, I just lost track of which bottle belonged to her. That omelette better be worth it. Oh, it is, don't you worry. Anyway, could you please find her bottle? When you do, just peel the label off and deliver it to her room, okay? Good. Okay, this is where, this is where we need the adhesive remover. Um... There's that adhesive remover in his box, so we need it for this. Alcoholism? Yeah. Just drink a whole bottle of wine and you're still okay. I've got laundry to do, so I can't talk anymore. Busy, 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 you know. And thank you again, Mr. Hyde. 
Rosa hurries off. And it's 9.40 p.m. When did this game start? I think it started at like 5 p.m. Oh yeah, cries. Wait, I read your message earlier, but I didn't reply. What'd you say? A guitar lesson now eating ice cream. Rehabilitative service appointment today. Oh, I hope those went well, cries. Or cries. 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 Why I think I, I said your name wrong? No. But I hope they went well. And it's awesome that you're taking steps to getting a job. I hope that the job that you find is good for you. Or at least is a decent job that you don't hate being in. And honestly, making money on your own is really rewarding. Even if it's just a little bit. So I hope that you can experience that freedom once you do. Hey, Castan! Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Wait, where am I? Oh yeah, I'm looking for a sticker. I was looking for a sticker before Rosa stopped me. Uh... Oh, I think there's a sticker on like the side of the table or something, maybe? Self-studying the Stone Age? Oh, damn. The Stone Age is pretty interesting. Or just like history in general is pretty interesting. They've got shelves on the walls to hold drinks. My kind of place. It's your favorite era? What, what about it uh, makes it your favorite? Oh, it's another match puzzle. Three triangles. Take away six matches and create three triangles. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Yeah, I, I remember I studied um, history in college for some of my electives. Well, mostly just religious history. So three triangles, how do you do that? Uh, No, 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 no. Uh oh. There's one big one, a smaller one. Uh. No, that's. What? Is that it? What? That was it? We got a genius Frange in the house. Am I actually a genius? Okay, so we're trying to find a sticker. They be smacking stones together, doodle, what's not to like? That's true, but I'm just wondering what makes it their favorite. Hunter gathering how humans used to live, how the environment used to be, ancient languages. Oh yeah, true. And it's like really far removed from what what's what we're doing now. <laughs> I used to smack rocks together in high school. I used to collect rocks in elementary school. Stone Age War was horrific? Yeah, the... Wait, how was it horrific? Was it because they, they had less, like, standard ethics when it came to, like, taking prisoners and... and stuff like that? Just how they treated other people? They're smarter in the smacking stones together. Yeah, we're not we're not talking about the prehistoric era. It's like Stone Age, they already had some form of technology. 22, yes, there was another sticker in here. Okay, we just need one more. One more number. <laughs> if you're a genius, do you know how big horse eggs are? You mean like in their bodies? The eggs that get fertilized? They killed all men and children and they took women to, into their tribe so their neighbors had to bury them. Oh no. Yeah. The eggs they lay. Horses are mammals, they don't lay eggs. They don't lay eggs. Oh wait, there's another one over here! I just found it! 
We found it! We can get something from the from the vending machine. 49. Negative 49. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh. Negative 49. Okay, so what does that add up, add up to? Okay, before we even start going forward in the story, I have to figure out how to I have to figure out how to do the, the vending machine. Draken's a Jerma fan? Oh, it, is it an inside joke? Uh, in the Jerma community? Cal brooding in the corner with his notepad and it turns out he's just performing basic arithmetic to use the vending machine? Exactly, that's exactly what he's doing. <laughs> 2.5 million BC to 3,000, 3, 300 BC. It spanned a long time. Let's see, get change at the front desk. Uh, what is this? Join the hunt. Find the seven lucky numbers hidden in this hotel. Calculate the sum of the numbers and input into the machine for a prize. Get lucky for just 25 cents. Okay, okay. So I, I'm not sure when you can get the change from the front desk. Um, do I still have money on me? Mm, my cash. Carrying about 30 bucks. Oh, damn. He only has 30 bucks on him. Well, I guess that's still a good amount. Okay. So at one point, you can get change at the front desk. I just have to figure out when. I think it's like in the morning or something. Thank you for the wellness pack. I'm already sitting up straight, but let me stretch. <sighs> Drink some water. Frung. Hello, under the skin. How's it going? Cavemen somewhere in the mid late Stone Age built houses. Oh, I see. Can I can I get some change here? That's oh, not letting me ring. Anyway, let's calculate the sum. Memo. I gotta do my uh. I gotta get out my calculator app. Most of them probably got burned down or lost to time. Oh yeah, they almost definitely got lost to time. Unless the, the stone still stays there, like if they built it from stone or some other type of non-flammable um, material. But even then, you're a big prehistoric nerd. That's, that's, that's valid. Everyone has their own interests. Let's see, 11 minus 40, plus 26, plus 34, plus 33, plus 22, minus 49. And the answer is... 37. So we have to input 37 in the machine once we get change. Or, can we try it now? Wow. Well. Cabal cozy? Is this is this stream cozy for you, Cabal? I hope I'm glad if it is. So you have vending machine, the bachelor's best friend. Bachelor? Hey, I love vending machines. Always is? Hell yeah. I'm glad. Learning to prove a lot of misconceptions people about have about Keatman. A lot of people think that they're stupid. Well, didn't they don't they have like the same uh like even Neanderthals have aren't they're brain like they're pretty intelligent, right? They have brains similar to ours. Or they're just the same as ours. Need coins, huh? Okay, so I need coins. That the hit woman then go cave is like totally cliche. Wait, is that a thing? Is that a thing to say? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to look for the wine labels. Wine bottle labels. Also, let's probably save, just so we don't lose all this progress. At late Stone Age, they invented agriculture and such. Yeah, yeah. And they domesticated animals, right? 
and that they were probably equal in sex difference more than today even? Hmm. I believe it. There's a lot of uh, sex, like sex discrimination. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I've never heard that before. <laughs> Where's the wine bottle? Is it here? Here's the wine. That that's like that one meme video though. Ride wife, life good. Okay, there's a bottle of rose. Okay, so I would ask Rosa this, I guess. There's another wine bottle. That makes sense that the throwing sphere is lighter. There's a bottle of wine on the counter. A bottle of white wine. Okay. Why fight back? Kill wife. That that's like that one that one uh, meme video though, <laughs> right? There's a wine bottle next to the microwave. Red wine. So rosé, white wine, red wine. For those of those for those of you wine drinkers out there, which one is your favorite? White wine, red wine, rosé. The bow and arrow, and then later the at ladle that. What is that? The at addle ladle? Wait, where the fuck is Rosa? White wine and rosé, same here. I, uh... I'm not a big fan of red wine, especially since the hangovers from red wine are terrible. They rode cars just like the, in the Flintstones. <laughs> Rice wine straight from the tiny overpriced bottle? Okay. So I have a history with sake, and I cannot drink sake anymore because I got so drunk off of sake so many times when I was in Japan um, that it's just gross to me now. <laughs> Moscato Dasty. Oh, like Moscato is good. Oh, okay. It's a throwing weapon. Okay. Favorite wine is fruity red wines. I see. Red wine can be good sometimes if they're like lighter. For me, not as dry. I don't like dry wines. Got a minute? What? I'm working, man. Catch me later, dude. You told me. You told me to catch you later, like later ago. Okay, where's Rosa? Do I gotta ask them? I gotta knock on their doors and ask them what kind of wine they had? The farther somebody threw the Adelaide dart, the farthest they threw it was 200 meters. Holy shit! That's a strong person. You gonna open? Yes, who's there? It's me, Kyle Hyde. Mr. Hyde, I figured you would be drunk in a ditch by now. What the fuck? You and me both, sister. What wine did you drink? I'll make it quick. You drank wine with dinner, right? Why, did you want to see if there is any left? I don't suppose you remember what kind? Rosé, and it was quite nice. Why on earth are you asking me this? Just checking. Don't mind me. So you came up to my room to ask me... So that's it. Nothing more? Well, good night then. 
Why is Iris so annoying but so attractive? Iris turns and closes the door behind her. Basically a battery, it stored up energy. Well, it worked like a battery? Huh. That's interesting. Let me see. Let me look that up. Addle, addle. It's a spear throwing lever. Ah. Uses leverage to achieve greater velocity in dart or javelin throwing. Ah. Interesting. Ah, okay. So it was like something that they use to throw javelins or darts. Okay. Yeah, it's not a spear, but it's like a, a tool that you use to throw other things with. If someone annoys me, they cease to be attractive to me. Yeah, that's true. That's probably why Kyle doesn't find her attractive, because she's so fucking annoying. Me and the boys practice our adult adult throws on the week. <laughs> they also had martial arts? Hmm. Stone Age Kumite! Stone Age Kumite! Which makes sense, they had to be trained. I mean, yeah. That makes sense. I mean, didn't China, Chi China had, like, the area around China had a really long history and they had martial arts, right? They existed way before 3300 BC. Stone Age Wrestling. Monster Hunter Kumite? <laughs> Kyle Hyde. All right, it's me. Do you have some business with me, Mr. Hyde? I got something to ask you. What kind of wine do you drink? <laughs> yeah, but I was just using Chinese history because that's the the history that I know. Because I, I studied um, East Asian history in college. Not saying that only China had martial arts, but... Uh, yeah, that was just my, my leverage point in history. You had wine with dinner, right? But of course, food without wine is like a body without a soul to fill its... Okay, shut up. Shut up, Sonar. <laughs> Summer, you, you talk too much. What kind? Um, well, it was white. Yes, a crisp Chardonnay with hints of apple and a rich... Don't care. <laughs> oh, I, I see. Well, I, I guess we are finished here? Yes, well, good evening, sir. Oh my god, Kyle just can't... He can't take Summer. I love their interactions. Oh, they had boxing? That's cool. Oldest time I oldest time Aikido? Oh yeah, I learned I learned some Aikido when I went to Japan. But only like I only went to like one class where they're just showing everyone. Okay, so we don't tell Helen we don't ask Helen because we just narrowed down what what wine everyone else had. I love this art style, I know right? The art style in this game is really, really unique. Like, there are so many unique things about this game that I just love. Let's see, which one was red wine? I think it was in here. Um, and that's why I'm playing it again, like, uh, over a decade later, later, because it's very special to me. Red wine. I bet this is the bottle Hel Helen ordered. Looks like there's still a bit of wine in the bottom of the bottle. I don't need the whole bottle, just the label. Okay, so I think we need the um, adhesive remover. Yeah. I took judo for a while? Oh, interesting. Do you still know it? Do you still remember some of the stuff? Why? You wondering if there's some left? Me looks away in panic. Mmm, maybe? Maybe I want some? <laughs> Reminds me of Trip Hop Group 07. Oh, what is it? Trip Hop 
Mmm. Trip hop. I'm seeing a lot of, uh... I'm not seeing a lot of the art, but there is one piece of art that I see on, uh... On Google. Oh, it's called... Their group name is called Zero Seven. It's a dead genre. Oh, no. Well, that's interesting. That people still have, like, you know, connections with genres that are, are dead. <laughs> Give me the Jin da Dynasty? <laughs> Wait, what about the Jin Dynasty? Motion blur and slow music makes Kyle look drunk as fuck. Oh yeah, the slow music in a lot of the motion blur... I'm sure there's still motion blur in the game, but... Um, the slowness of it is because of my laptop not being able to handle it, plus streaming. But you're, you're right, it does make him seem like he's just drunk as fuck walking around. It's been 25 years, oh boy. should get the label off in no time. Take the adhesive remover. I love things in packages like this. Like in, in that pack that adhesive remover package. It's very cute. A reggae, trip hop, and DNB. I also do like DNB as well. You barely receive attention anymore though. Oh I love DNB. I wanted a ran rundown of the Jin Dynasty from You Doodle. Oh shit, I barely remember that stuff though. <laughs> I just remember bits here and there. I remember I had to remember the order of the dynasties. Wait, Koro, you re you like trip hop too? That's awesome. You found a kindred spirit. A fellow trip hop kindred spirit. Adhesive remover. Let's go! Puzzle time! Kura Valley, 1967. Mean again. Oh yeah, I think I just have to get it all over. Oh, listen to that sound! Oh! 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 You have to, like, rip it off very slow. Did I do it right? Okay, good. Sneaky has arrived! Hello, Sneaky! Haunted Jin, so like 60 years? <laughs> yeah. The Three Kingdoms stuff? Yeah, I remember it started off with the... Sorry. It started off with the, with the Z, one of the first dynasties. Before they didn't really... Dynasties were, like, are actually... Quite a recent development. Recent in the timeline of China. Peak DS, yes, yes. <laughs> there we go. I take the wine label. Wonder what kind of memories this wine holds for the old gal. Guess it's time she and I have ourselves another chat. Time to go to Helen! He's purring intensely. Aw. That means he's happy. Door's locked. What the fuck? Let me throw! Oh, wait. This isn't where I'm supposed to go. This is the door out. <laughs> I forgot which way was out. He's a good boy. Sneaky's a good boy. So I think she's in this room. Let's save. Miss Helen, I have a wine label for you. Oh, Mr. Hyde, what brings you here? Rosa has her hands full. She asked me to bring you this wine label. You came all this way just for me? 
Please, please come in. Well, too bad I'm gonna interrogate you now. I'm sorry that you had to run all over the hotel for my sake. Don't worry about it. I got nothing better to do. Oh, Posh, I'm sure you're a very busy man. But now that you're here, please feel free to sit for a spell. My room is your room. Thanks. I'm gonna sleep here tonight, then. Wanna play this game myself? I cannot stop loving the art style. You should, and there's actually a second game. Although, um... It's very expensive online, because it was only released in English in Europe. But, uh... Yeah, the... It, it does have a second game, and I, I haven't played it, but I heard that ends on a good spot. You are from Europe. Viva Europa! <laughs> Europa! Well, I am in the US, so it's, it's kind of hard to get hands on it. So I, I have to resort to... to, uh... emulating it. What pl for what platform is it? It's for the DS as well. This is the most chaotic hotel stay of all time. I know, right? When I stay in a hotel, I just stay in my room all day. I, I don't talk to anyone. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah? Oh, yes, dear. Don't you get excited when friends come to pay you a visit? Everyone likes to have visitors. And you're not just any visitor. I find our conversations quite peculiar, peculiar Mr. Hyde, but in a very good way. You make me feel like I did ten years ago. Yeah, what happened ten years ago? Hmm? Oh, nothing. I'm just reminiscing. Please forgive this old woman her f Please forgive this old woman her fancy. What the fuck does that mean? The old gal is hiding something. Time to drag it out of her. But, Mr. Hyde? I thought you brought a wine label for me. Oh, yeah. I need to give her the thing that I came here for. A Sonic fan on Twitter started destroying his massive Sonic collection because he was upset he had to import all of his Sonic merch? Yeah, like Castan said, bruh. What? That's awful! Think of, like, the, all the history there. Here's your label. Oh, thank you, this is simply wonderful. It'll make for such a nice memory. <laughs> Interrogation time! <laughs> I was waiting for this music to start. I imagine the same reason people destroy stuff they already have as a sign of protest all the time. They're too stupid to realize they already gave the company money. Yeah, yeah. They already gave the company money. The company literally does not care because the money is already in their pockets. <laughs> but, um... I will be right back. I need to go to the bathroom, but once we come back, we will finish our interrogation of Helen, go on to the next chapter, and then play Rune Factory 5. So, I will BRB.
I'm sorry guys, Doodle's gone. Doodle is no longer here. Doodle fell into the toilet. I am Doodle Frange 2.0. I may sound exactly like Doodle, but I'm no longer Doodle. Anyway, it's time to keep playing the game. <laughs> I knew this day would come! I'm sorry, Doodle fell into the toilet and was flushed down by me. <laughs> I was waiting in her shower drain all this time for this moment. As she took showers Washed all her dirt and grime down there. Maybe peed in the shower a little bit. She peed on me. <laughs> a whole hanger full of fronge just to deploy in place of the previous fronge if they fall in. It's exactly as Bebop says. There are always other fronges. Uh, so the lore of the fronge, which this isn't really serious lore, but it's like joke lore, is that like we have a fronge army, right? Which is all of you guys. So if something happens to the leader Frange, one of you guys has to step up and take their place. I mean, we're all clones of each other. Frange are legion, yes! We're all clones. So, we can always take each other's place. <laughs> but yes, just think of me as Doodle. Just think of me as Doodle. And, and you'll be happier for it. Yeah, this doodle could be any one of us. Sus. Yes, it's, it's a very sus, sussy situation. <laughs> Am I prehistoric frunge? Yeah, you could be the pre prehistoric frunge. <laughs> Ponder. Yeah, uh, Among Us, but with frunge skins. It's like a, a frunge mod of a, Among Us. Hooray! Just think of it like Osomatsu-san, if you guys know that an that anime, where it's, where it's like they're all like, uh, what was it, quintuplets? They're quintuplets, but they each have their own defining feature, right? They look the same, but they have their, their defining feature. Yeah. <laughs> A gugus? <laughs> A gugsus? <laughs> exactly, Bebop. Oh, I love playing Clue. Clue is fun. Sex tablets. Okay, there are only six of them. Okay. <laughs> but thank you guys for um, accepting me as the new Doodle Frange. Our leader. Frange General. And I am here to enjoy Hotel Dusk in Doodle's place. Or, I guess I should say, I am Doodle. Now. So, we're here, trying to, um, interrogate Helen. She's just there! She- like, I feel bad for her, because... <laughs> like, imagine... The French timeline grows even more complicated? Yeah, you thought it was complicated enough with Grandpappy. But, uh, like, imagine being Helen. You come to this hotel. To rem like m remind yourself of your of your son. I don't know what happened to him. I guess we'll find out here. You come to this hotel. You have some wine. You're having a good night, and then this guy comes in and he starts trying to t get into your past. <laughs> He's like, "What happened? What's your son? Why are you ordering this wine?" Blah 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 blah. She's like, "What the fuck? I just wanted to have like a good night stay here." It's just what. <laughs> Game of Thrones Frange Edition, besides all that gross stuff. Oh, I, I think I've heard that it's kind of yikesy. I have never watched Game of Thrones, though. But yes, without all the gross stuff. And what would that be? Rosa said you shared that wine with someone a few years ago. Who was it? Does it really matter? Yeah, Kyle, does it really matter? Out with it! Who was it? <laughs> Come on, I'm just curious. It isn't the end of the world, but it's been bugging me for a while. Uh, you mean for the past 20 minutes? <laughs> oh? You told me you've been here before. So when did you share a bottle of wine with someone? Mr. Hyde, you're persistent. If you must know, that day took place 10 years ago. Romance of the Three Kingdoms, but Frange, that's the dream? 
Wait, what happened in Romance of Three Kingdoms? So the guy you met 10 years ago, what happened to him? She looks pretty shaken up. Let me guess. <laughs> I bet he's dead. I bet your son's dead, lady. He kind of looks like Bob from Tekken. I've never played Tekken. What is it? Um, well, I know what Tekken is, but like Bob Tekken. How does he look like Bob? How does he look like Bob from Tekken? <laughs> I mean, maybe it's the it's the 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 beard. Yeah, I think it's the beard. I can kind of see it. <laughs> People be fighting and dying and shit. Oh, okay, okay. He's Bob minus one hundred fifty pounds. <laughs> yeah, I can see it though with the blonde hair and, and the um and the beard. Yeah, I saw the picture of Slim Bob. You don't know where he is, do you? I'm sure he's fine, it's just... We just haven't been in contact since that day. Let's talk about the person you met ten years ago. You care about him, obviously. The person is pretty special to you, right? Oh, yes. That person meant the world to me. But then I... I... I betrayed him. This chapter is a lot easier than the last chapter, let me just say that. I wouldn't think it would be hard to contact this mystery person, but I bet I know why you haven't. You miss him too much. You think about him a lot, don't you? Oh yes, each and every day. I want so badly to see him again, but alas, I cannot. I can't bear the thought of causing the boy more grief. I'm a lurk. Enjoy your lurk, Caston. It was nice talking to you. Why'd you betray him? Because I'm selfish. Because I was thinking only of myself. Of what I thought I wanted. I left him behind, Mr. Hyde. I abandoned him. I think I know who you're talking about. I... but how? It's your son, isn't it? Let's see if Rosa knows her hunches. Yes. That was the man I met ten years ago. My only son. What's his name? Alan. Alan? Haven't we heard of another Alan? Alan? Your son's name is Alan? Yes, that's correct. Alan Parker. Nice name. We met here for dinner ten years ago, and then went our separate ways. Any chance you gave him a fountain pen? Why, yes. Yes, I did. If you guys don't remember, Alan Parker was the guy who got plagiarized by Summer, I believe. He, he wrote that book. Um, that got Summer really famous, but then I think he like never, I think he went into hiding or something, or he, he disappeared after he was betrayed by Summer, which was, I think, about where they said 10 years ago or something. But how on earth could you possibly know that? You gave him that pen, huh? Wait right here. What, does this have to do with Alan's pen? Yeah, give me two minutes. I'll be right back. Oh, all right. Well, we're gonna go get your pen, lady. Or get your son's pen. Summer? Who is it? Kyle Hyde. Do you have some new business with me, sir? Yeah, your fountain pen. I need it. My, my pen? But you gave it to me not two hours ago. Why do you now decide? Just give me the damn pen. All right. 
The plot is doing squats, I know, right? It's getting so thick. The plot is thickening because it's doing all these squats. I take the fountain pen back from Summer. This should do it. At the risk of having your response delivered to the bridge of my nose... Don't ask. Very well. <laughs> I, I like Summer. They're, 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 they're back and forth is interesting. Summer gives me the wary eye and shuts the door. Give me head pat! Wait! Why is the head pat not happening? Here. I'll do it for you. Here. Head pat? There. Wait, why is the head pat not happening? One second. Yeah, it's working! Hmm. What? No, 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 no. Why is the head pat not working? Thank you for giving me a head pat, though. Cries. Uh, it let me let me see that the head pat wasn't working. But uh. Let me see, where did I put that file? Looks like I have another thing to fix after stream. Because I have to fix the um, stream labels and now the head pen. There it is. Okay. I just I just had to refresh it. I had to refresh the, the plugin that I was using for it. Hi! But yeah, now I, I did the head bat in your place, Cabal. I had to refresh the plugin. Hey Chozo! Do ten squats, oh no! <laughs> I'm doing so many squats today! I already did twenty! Alright, alright, I'll do ten squats. How's it going, Chozo? Alright. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. My butt's sweaty. Finally got off work early for once. Doing good yourself? I'm glad you're doing well. I'm doing pretty well, too. Just chilling, playing Hotel Dusk. <laughs> holy shirt! Shirt! Holy shit, sound alerts are so loud. <laughs> but, um, alright, so... We come back to Helen. Good evening, Mr. Hyde. Why won't you come inside? And continue our little interrogation. Give her the fountain pen, and then she'll have a very surprised look on her face. Ever seen this before? Where did you get this? It's his! It's my son's! Holy shirt! <laughs> you learn up how to send up sound alerts? Get to it eventually? Oh, all you need to do is like set up a browser source. It's pretty it's pretty straightforward. So when you get to it, it shouldn't be like a, a pain in the ass. So this is your son's pen, huh? That's correct. I gave it to him ten years ago when we were finally reunited. You 
You were on the outs for a while, huh? It was because I... I... I left him behind. I abandoned him, Mr. Hyde. I walked out of his life. Mr. Hyde. Is she gonna- is, is she gonna spill it all? Is she gonna spill it? You must tell me. How did that pen come to be in your possession? I found it in the restaurant. I guess dropped it. I guess dropped... So my son... That means Al is, Alan is in this hotel! No, he's not. But then, who dropped the pen, if not him? A friend of his? Well, he's not much of a friend, actually. But... But why? How? Oh, this is all too much. Alan is missing. The guy with the pen is looking for him. My boy is missing? Please, Mr. Hyde, tell me that's not true. Yeah, I need to learn how, how a lot of stuff works. Well, there's always going to be stuff that, that we, we can learn about. But you mean, like, stream stuff? As I understand it, Alan wrote a book and his chump stole it from him. Sounds like your boy was shook up about it and vanished soon after. That... that can't be. Wish I had better news for you, but there it is. My son had always dreamed of being a writer. On that night ten years ago, he told me that he had almost achieved his dream. It was hard work, but I knew he would never give up. It was a dream after all. I would have think that had been taken away from him. It breaks my heart. It truly does. Yeah, that's a shame. Tell me about this theft, Mr. Hyde. Why? I want to find the man who stole his work and make him pay. Look, you're a tough broad, and I like that, but it's too late. The guy who plagiarized your son's novel, novel already fessed up. He's searching for your son so he can clear things up and make amends. I think the real question is whether or not your son will forgive him. I have faith that he will forgive this man. I know my boy, Mr. Hyde. Alan will surely forgive him. You seem pretty sure. That's just the way he is. His heart is large, and he has forgiven greater trespasses before this. After all, he forgave his own mother for turning her back on him. She's finally going to spill it. Mr. Hyde, may I implore you for a favor? Would you lend your ear to a sad and shameful story? We're gonna learn about her past. Poor Helen, yeah. She's just learning about how her, her son is missing and had his dream crushed. Years ago, you see, there lived an absolute fool of, fool of a woman. In her youth, she became enraptured with show business and magic. But soon she married, and her husband convinced her to settle down. She agreed, but her secret heart yearned for a return to lights and glory. In time, the pull of the stage became too great, and she abandoned her family. At first, her return to the world of magic filled her life with color. She had chosen the path of entertainer, of the entertainer once more. It became her everything. The woman lived for the moment when applause swept over her like a wave. But to her dismay, the more acclaim she received, the emptier she began to feel. Suddenly, being known as the greatest magician of all time mattered not. All she could think of was meeting the son she left behind so long ago. What a fool she was. So the woman sets up for a meeting with her son. No, not at first. Their first encounter was a simple twist of fate. The woman had been called to perform at the grand opening of a new hotel. And by the strangest of chances, her son was invited to the same party. When she saw him, she was filled with fear and certain he would be enraged. But instead, he took her by the hand and forgave her. That day, they made a promise to each other. To each other. A promise to meet in ten years at that same hotel. And ten years later, they did that very thing. The boy told her of his own dream, of how he longed to become a writer. And the woman presented her son with a small fountain pen to help him on his way. It was the first and last gift she ever gave him, or so I hear. They made no more promises, arranged no more meetings. The year after meeting her son at the hotel, the woman quietly retired. And this time, she walked away from the stage for good. She has- yeah, it's a really sh sad story. So where'd she go next? That's the end of my story, Mr. Hyde. 
where she went and how she spent her days after that, no one knows. Yeah? Well, let me tell you what I heard. Oh? The woman's son told his thieving pal how much the hotel meant to him. He said it was his most special place in the world. A place filled with memories that he treasured more than anything. At least, that's what I heard. Oh, Mr. Hyde. Oh no, I'm tearing up! What the fuck? Why- why is this story gotta be so sweet? Well, bittersweet. I think you should have this pen. Maybe you can give it back to its owner someday. I- I don't have the words. Anyway, sorry to take up all your time. I'll see you around. Ah! What a sweet old lady. Alan is Helen's son. Didn't see that one coming. Would you have liked the game as much back then if it wasn't bitter bittersweet? Probably not, no. If it didn't move me, um, I pr probably wouldn't have remembered it as much. Summer's going to do backflips when he hears this, and I'll probably have to tell him. Okay, Hyde, time to think. Take a second and get your thoughts together. Time for the quiz! Just before nine, I made my way down to the bar for a couple of belts. You tearing up just means it still holds up. Yeah, it does, yeah. But then again, I'm very easy to move. Louie was working the bar and doing a damn fine job of it. The next person to stumble into the bar was... Helen. That's right. The old lady from 212, Helen Parker, was the next person to enter the bar. Me and Helen shot the breeze while she sipped a gimlet. The drink loosened her up, and she told me how she'd stayed here before. After a couple of drinks, I decided to split the bar. I picked Rosa and Dunning's brains to learn more about the hotel's history. I didn't get much, but what they did spill was pretty interesting. For one, the bar was built for the hotel's 10-year anniversary. Which means the hotel was built 20 years ago. Also, I got Dunning to talk about when he took over the place. It was... Five years ago. A good, uh, even number? That's right, five years ago. Put down cash on the barrel head and took over that same day. Next, Rosa came by and made me deliver a wine label to Helen. After ransacking the whole place for the bottle, I finally got the label. What kind of wine was she drinking again? Red wine. That's right. Helen had a bottle of red. Went for the same stuff she had ten years ago. When I dropped off the label, Helen was all smiles and started chatting me up. We got to talking about who she came here with ten years ago. Her companion's name was... Alan. That's right, it was her son, Alan. That's all he has to say about that. <laughs> I found out the pen Summer dropped is the same one Helen gave her son. I told Helen, and she spilled her entire life story. I ain't much for sad stories, but I listened as patiently as I could. Helen told me that she left her son to become a... Magician! That's right, a magician. Still can't wrap my mind around that one. Around that one. She left her family to pursue the dream, and it's tortured her ever since. Maybe she sleeps better tonight. Night has fallen over the city and the hotel. I know the dark. It's a cover that lets people people's bad sides run wild. Envy, doubt, grief. They all come out at night. Bradley. What do you think of this at night? What do you think of at night when the darkness comes? I've gone and told Dawn to find out. I like how he always talks to Bradley at the end. Well, most of the time he does. Sometimes he doesn't mention Bradley, but he most of the time he he's he like returns it all. He returns to Bradley as a topic. Save complete and now time to play some Rune Factory. Rune Factory! Rune Factory! 10 to 11 p.m. Ooh, it's getting kind of late at the hotel. 
that Kyle listened to Helen's story implies that he is a much nicer person than he thinks. Yeah, yeah. And that he helped her, like, unload. The clock strikes ten. Maybe I'll join Louie in the bar for another belt. Okay, so I'll end it here. Let's, uh, get this connected. Bradley, yes, but Rune Factory! Rune Tractory! But we don't have tractors in Rune Factory! Okay, one second. Let me... Okay, so the capture, capture card should be plugged in. Let me just plug in the switch charger. Okay, what should I change the, the title to? Give us tractors! Foon Ractory! Uh, Rune Factory 5. Okay, I'll just change it to this. Oh, it's fine, Cabal. Also, one second, I need a tissue. Oh yeah, my my uh, transition to OBS Studio as opposed to Streamlabs made changing the title a lot easier for me. Because now it's just in a separate tab. OBS is like better in every way. Okay, let me uh, get it connected. <laughs> Reverb part. Are you still taking Benadryl? Oh yeah, I took Benadryl today, but it's been rainy where I am. So um, even after it wore off, it's been all right. Like I haven't had like much sneezing. So thank goodness for the rain. <laughs> all right, let me see, get the capture card on. Let me turn on the switch. Okay, so let me refresh the capture card. Is it gonna is it gonna refresh? Is it gonna actually capture? Oh wait, should I never mind, I need to plug the HDMI cable in. <laughs> or do I? Wait, wait, one second. Uh Is it this? Oh yes, it, it is. It is this one. For some reason, I had two sources. Two sources for my capture card. I was already playing the game. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, um... Okay. Yeah, Hotel Dust mu uh, music is just bopping. Okay, let me get this up. I was already playing the game, so, um... The spot that we were in the game is... We were... I don't know what you guys know about the story at all. But I'm at like the very beginning of the game. Basically, we... Saved this girl... Af after passing out in the forest. We woke up and we saved a girl who was getting attacked. Now we work for this ranger type organization to help protect this town while we're waiting for our memory to come back. And we find out that the girl that we saved, Hina, her mother is still in the forest. So we searched for her and rescued her. Now we're here. Also, let me know if the, if the music is all right. Anyway, I'm, I'm hype for playing more Rune Factory because I love the character dialogue. But I don't know if I should read out all the dialogue. I don't know if you guys can already read it, but... Music is good? Okay, that's good. I see it doesn't ring any bells. Well, given your memory loss, it is what it is. No need to think too hard about it. Just remember that you're special. And please keep this between us. Can I ask why? Oh, I think... Okay, she just told us that we're an Earthmate. So an Earthmate is someone who is in tune with the runes and the Earth. 
And so they tend to be really good farmers. And they tend to be really good with monsters, too. You'll understand soon enough. Being special brings its own hardships. Hardships? Yes, trust me. But yeah, look! Ruin Factory! Also, Livia is so fucking tiny. Uh, like, I'll, I'll, I'll compare her to me later, but... Oh, good timing, Doodle. I want to talk to you about something. Sure, what is it? I want to discuss wanted monsters with you. Oh. Uh, right. They're monsters that have been singled out by, out by Seed HQ. Generally, these guys have been involved in some kind of serious incident, so someone needs to catch them and turn them in. Yep, I need to put the spell seal that I got to use. If you ever spot a wanted monster while you're out and about, use your equipment to establish a connection with them and report back to me. That being said, these monsters won't go down quietly. You need to wear them down first. So I need to battle them? Oh, yeah. I I, I imagine she uh, falls into the stereotype or into the... What is it? The archetype of, like, looks very young, but is actually very old. Older than Derek? Wait, who's Derek again? Oh, Derek is is the um, no, he's he's the the Smith, right? There's an upside to it. Catching these monsters will net you some nice rewards as well as increase your seed rank. Yeah, the but yeah, the blacksmith, the buff ass man. But then again, you know, grown women who have petite bodies exist, so. And what exactly is that? Your overall rank in the seed hierarchy. Seed is the organization that I work for, by the way. The higher your rank, the more important you are. Good to know. As you become more important, you'll take on more responsibilities, which means I'm just going to end up busier than ever. Ha ha ha, you got good instincts. That's exactly what you can look forward to during your rise to greatness. You ever feel up to the task, then let me know which monster you like to search for. I'm sure you will. Oh, and more, one more thing. If you accidentally defeat a wanton monster, then you'll have to start your search all over again. Let me know if that happens so we can restart the investigation. Well, that's all you need to know for now. Okay, thank you, Olivia. Anyway, also, look at how tight. Well, she's sitting down right now, but look, her, her feet are, like, hanging off the edge. <laughs> oh, yeah, she... Actually... Oh, her... You can see her ears in the model, though. Like, look at that. She is an elf. She is most definitely an elf. Her her portrait doesn't have ears, but her model does. Are any good at paperwork? Um, probably not. Ah, good. Then I'll make sure to give you plenty. Practice makes perfect. Rude. Are you gonna give me a shit ton of paperwork? Or what? That explains it then? Yeah, they're like, how many elves are there in this town? If you played Rune Factory for special, then, um, oh yeah, I need to go to bed. Then there are two elves that come to visit from the previous game, and apparently the previous game took place decades ago, and they still look really young. And actually, they look hotter than they did before. <laughs> Mystery solved, team. Good work. Skill up! Alright, time to go down. And time for the next event. Oh, there she is! It's the mommy! I mean, she's literally a mom. What is she doing? I have a level 99 sleeping skill IRL. Oh, same here. Same here. I have level 99 sleeping skill. Oh, that's the whole, whole, uh, where, where family. Doodle! Hello, Hina. Looks like your mother's feeling better. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, thanks to you. Awoo! That's bullshit. <laughs> I'm Misasagi. My brother has told me a great deal about why can't we marry her? I know, right? Why is she not marryable? Not only did you rescue my daughter from the forest, but you came back for me as well. I owe you a great debt. You have my deepest thanks. 
I, I just did what anyone else would have done. Gods be good. You're such a kind person. Truly a saint. <laughs> oh, that laugh. Oh. Ow! I shall offer prayers of gratitude in your name. Thrice daily. Uh, there's no need to do all that. Also, there's Murakumo, who is, is marriable. Maybe you can allow me to court you in exchange for what I've done. I think it's just because she has a daughter and, like, they don't they don't know how to take that into account or something. Dramatic? Oh, look! Holy shit, she's not wearing pants! Do you see her model? What is that? What is she wearing? That purple one, though? Yeah, he's pretty. He's pretty. Oh, woo, too! What is she wearing? I don't even... Oh yeah, there's a way to, um... What is it? Get rid of it? Oh yeah, there, there, there's, there's her, uh... Her shorts. <laughs> Daisy Dukes? She already has a crotch goblin. So she can't make another with someone else. Mm-hmm. A crotch goblin. <laughs> oh, Panny, you don't go outside with just a little Panny. So strange. Mm hmm I don't know. Come again, Kumo. I'm a little... What now? I, no, I... Please forgive me. I can't believe Murakumo Kumo is cowering like this. <sighs> yeah! I'm sorry. Oh, 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 I'm sorry you had to see something so distasteful. <laughs> no need to apologize. <laughs> Pardon me. The wear animals historically don't like wearing a ton of clothes in RF, though, right? I'm not sure. Who else was a wear animal in the series? Walks out in barely their booty shorts. <laughs> I promise to repay you. If there's anything I can do, please do not hesitate to ask. With that, I bid I bid you farewell. All right. Your work won't stop piling up just because it's raining. I expect you to do as good a job as always. Oh, it's raining today. Doodle, I recommend learning how to cook because it's an important skill to have have when leading a self sufficient lifestyle. Uh, well, yes, there's that. But I was thinking more along the lines of you mastering the recipes for my favorite foods. Oh. Okay, you want me to cook for you? <laughs> okay. So I think I can harvest some of my crops. Ooh, look at that frame rate. Mmm, mmm, delicious frame rate. Maybe I'm thinking of half monsters? Oh, okay. What? Not all of them are rained on? What? That's not fair. Oh, I I'm picking up- Oh, look, it's a rune! <laughs> I love how they look just as goofy as they do in the, in the previous games. Let me pick you up! Come on, okay. Hmm. Okay, I don't need to water or anything else. Let's let's hit some of the racks. Let's do that. Oh. Rain accumulates over time, since it can start and stop raining. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Just aim on the rock, goddammit. I don't know how she doesn't break her back while doing this. Leon came to mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Leon did not wear much clothes, much clothing either. Yeah, he's not a wear animal, but he is definitely like not human. Like he's part animal or part monster.
Okay, make sure not to destroy anything. Okay. Toss in all my building materials, put in foot fertilizer. Awesome. Okay. So, I free Oh, Elja. Elja, come to me. Elja. I'm running after her with the axe. Morning. Is it raining? Uh -huh. I'd love it if the evenings were twice as long, and the mornings, and the afternoons too, I guess. Well, twice as long? What would you do with all that extra time? Hmm, hmm. absolutely nothing. Same, though. Okay, I think, uh... Are we que request for the day? Use a spell seal. Okay, I can do that. Elsha, give smooch, please. Thank you. Yes, Elsha, can I marry you? The answer is no. I cannot marry her, sadly. Have you been putting the spell seal I gave you to good use? It doesn't just prove that you're a ranger. You can also use it to catch monsters. I'm a little worried that you don't quite know how to use it yet, so I want you to get some practice. Hold down the ZL button to prepare a power catch that you can use to connect with your target after you for got forced a connection with a monster, blah 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 blah. Oh, build a monster barn. Okay, I can do that. Also, Riker is cute. Monster barns are, just as, you, as you'd expect from the name, places where the monsters you've tamed live. You can start taming monsters as soon as you've built one. If you ask Pomo or myself while we're at the shop, then we can build one for, for you on the dr farm dragon. I'll give you the lumber and material stone you need to build one this time, so you should head on over. Oh, thank you, Riker. Give a crystal. Riker got two papillon. Really cool. He is very cool. <laughs> He's confrontational for no reason, though. Little shit. He is a little shit. Oh, I love him. I I love a lot of the the characters in this game. A little bird just told me something wonderful. Usually only the richest of the rich want to get their hands on giant crystals, but I've just learned that you can use them for something amazing. Rumor has it that they secretly have something to do with those big dragons you see flying around. I have to know the truth. Crystals. Giving giant crystals to farm dragons will affect your field in different ways. Blah 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 blah. The health or durability of the soil? Oh. Can't feed crystal fra fragments to the farm dragon, so bring those to the kiss crystal labra. Oh, okay. So I think I just got a bunch of crystal fragments. Yeah, Glacy's Crystal Fragment. I can use that to make a crystal. I drew another leopard reindeer? Oh, nice! I bet his heart events are really sweet since he's so tsun, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. He's gotta show his sweet side, because he's got the tsun He's got the tsun side. So he needs the dede side. Hunt down the wanted monster. How are things going? Have you gotten used to how C does things yet? I wouldn't get too comfortable though. A good ranger remains ever vigilant. Aha! I know just the job to help you stay sharp. Get out there and catch a wanted monster. I don't get to turn it down because it's an order from her. <laughs> okay. Okay, also I want to plant that one, that like one singular seed I got from harvesting this morning. So let's do it! Ah! It's so easy to accidentally press the wrong button. Okay. So let's go pay Riker and Pomo a little visit. Actually, I'll just do my rounds of the town. I usually just walking around. Just like walking around and visiting everyone. Ah! Are they not open? Oh. It's 7.50? That's so fucking early. 
Okay, what are my requests? So I have to raise everyone's friendship to one. Use my spell seal. Build a monster barn. Get a crystal. What's the wanted monster? Time to hit up the farm dragon? I don't even know what I do on there. Do I just plant crops as usual? I gotta ask Livia who, who the wanted monster is. Oh, hello Priscilla. Aw, the weather's gotten kinda ugly. One of my favorite things to do is sit under a tree and read. It's a great way to spend a nice day. Okay. Okay, she's not gonna tell me anything. Where do I find what the want what monster is? Hmm. Hunt down any wanted monster? To the uh um button? Uh, I think it works. Just talk to her multiple times? But I don't- I think it's too early for her to tell me. Okay. It was too early before, but now, uh, I, she'll tell me. Which one would you like to track down? There's Foros. What is this? A slime. A fairy. Oh, I saw these gar goblin archers before. Wait, did I say yes? Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so I need to track down a goblin archer. So let's go. Also, Bebop, do you know how to use the shield in this game? I always forget. Oh, I have to take note of where it says it is? Location, Foros Woodlands, sited in the southern region. Okay. Okay, that is my spell seal. Okay. You don't use the shield? What? What's the fucking point then? So, it's in the... Oh, Whispering Woods. So it's not... Where's the forest woodlands? Here? Oh, it's right here then. Oh, that's easy. Just stats? Oh, that sucks. Also, thank you for the wellness pack. Uh, stretch. Drank. Not just any, any goblin archer, but goblin archer number 352. That little bastel. Best bastel. Bastard is an asshole. Okay, that is a woolly. So it's somewhere around here, I guess. Helps make one-handed weapons a little more useful since they have lower damage, but you can have a shield. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I remember that from previous games. Oh, it has a red aura? Okay. Oh! Is... No, that's not it. Time to kill some wo woolies! <laughs> Die, you cute little bastards. No, I didn't mean to do that. Why am I so fucking powerful? Why is it, like, going red?
Brad is crit? What's my favorite weapon? I usually like the double-handed swords. Well, not... Okay. So not swords that you hold with both hands, but like the two swords. I usually like those. You bastard! What is this? Can't harvest bamboo shoots by hand. Use a hoe. Blah blah blah. I already knew that. Oh! I got toy herb seeds! Yeah! Dual swords are what I mainly use in Tides of Destiny. Yeah, they're just really fun. I like going. I like going chop, 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 chop. And then they die. What's that in the sky? How do I get that down? Huh. Use my seal? Oh yeah, true! Oh. Yeah! I got an orange! I got an orange! <laughs> Thanks, Viva. Oh no, I'm fighting with the hoe. <laughs> do 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 do. So wait, I have to go to the southern area because that's where they said the wanted monster was. Oh, dum dum. An avocado. Thanks. The amount of times I've water rain canned an enemy to death on accident. Really? <laughs> you water rain canned an enemy to death? Damn. Those stats on the that water rain can, though. Uh, the, the picking up of stuff is pretty clunky in this game. Oh! Uh-oh, bugs. <laughs> oh no, I'm fighting with the hoe! Oh no! Streamlabs! One second. Is Streamlabs asleep? I normally finish watering everything for the day and then go off to fight. Oh, okay. It, it should be uh, both of them, actually. Um, I, I made it so that if you use both of them, you can you can add quotes. Because people were using both. Okay, let me just... Oh, I turned it off! Why did I turn off the bot? Or maybe it, it, uh, it turned off on its own. Try adding it again. Because I don't remember turning it off. Even worse, fighting with the cheap ho. <laughs> oh no, I'm fighting with the cheap ho. Okay, Streamlabs is like waking up at sent that question mark, but it should be added now. Oh, I just got an insect horn. Oh, can I go across the water? Oh, okay, nice. Oh, what? Look, it's me! But pink! <laughs> and ugly. It's running away! Come back, you bastard! 
I don't like locking on things because it's an extra button push, but... And it, and it locks on on things I don't want to lock on on. <laughs> Pink and ugly doodle! Okay, that's the first thing I thought I thought when I saw these. Yeah, I saw it, but then I I was like, ah! <laughs> I'm like, it's me. Thank you for the cool cabal. <laughs> Got some purple grass. Oh! Ah! <laughs> I was just picking some grass. Why you gotta? What? Oh no! Why is he taking zero damage? Why is he taking zero damage? I'm scared. You're constantly dash canceling. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta keep dashing early on. Oh no, am I going north? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing zero damage, so I must run for my life. Where the fuck is south? I don't know where south is. Okay, this way is south. Rock. Do I do damage to these guys? Yes, I do. But not very much. I do not do- Oh, damn. Holy shit. Okay, bye. <laughs> His name was red at the top. Does that mean the that that enemy is, like, really fucking powerful? Means they're way over your level? Okay. Come on, guys. I'm looking for that orc ar archer. Give him to me. Oh, paralysis? God damn it. Uh oh. I cannot run. Ah! Uh oh. It should go away with time, but now I'm very, very slow. Do I have an antidote? No. Whoops. They'll often one shot you. Okay. Should I just dash? Oh, okay. Oh, there's the wanted monster. Oh! oh! How am I supposed to defeat him? Failure? Yeah, I don't want to kill it, but- Ah, shit! <sighs> ah! Yeah, run away. I'm out. Time to get out of here by dashing! <laughs> wait, where am I on the map? Oh wait, I can just warp back, can't I? Time to warp back.
I almost forgot the wonder of warping in Rune Factory. Okay, I will see if Antidote Grass works. Okay, Antidote Grass is for poison. So that's not it. So it will not uh, help with par paralysis. They say Doodle is very dashing. Well, time to go to the to the clinic. Dog, please stop running. Come back, dog. Oh, uh, it's gonna get rain like this all day, isn't it? Holy crap! What happened to you? You look like you took a dragon to the face, Doug. Please, <laughs> please don't say that. <laughs> Scam to dope grass. I know, right? Riker, please. You're not gonna say I look like shit, right? I see you're full of energy. Rain sucks. People should totally be allowed to take rainy days off, don't you think? Uh, what? Not feeling too hot? Okay, at least he's not saying I look like crap. I forgot that they, like, observe you. Like, what I really like about Rune Factory is, like, how varied well. their dialogue is. Yeah, that's- yeah. That's basically what he said. You're awfully pale. Let me have a quick look at you. Hard work is all well and good, but don't overexert yourself, understood? What sort of things do I like? Hmm, Invinceroid intrigues me. Rare and unusual medicines play an invaluable role in my research. Okay. How do I get her to check me up? Hey, Axiom, welcome. Welcome. Yes, Axiom has returned. This is Paragon? I cannot affor afford Paragon. Thanks. Simone's in-game model upsets you? Why? Is it like her really f f like she's very thin. She's like super thin. Like look at that. Does she get enough to eat? Oh, the eye patch is fucked? Oh. Eyelash peeking from behind the eye patch. It's not even the right color. Oh no. Did you partake in some H2O recently? Actually, thanks for reminding me. I need to drink some water. I'm doing well. I'm having a good time. We were playing Hotel Desk, and now we're playing some Rune Factory. Bah, a little bad weather ain't gonna stop me. Bring it on, Rain. I can take you. Hey, welcome. What can I do for you today? Why can't we have a different festival, like, every day? That would certainly add some excitement to our lives. Well, that would also be- Oh, why am I- Oh, I'm not paralyzed anymore. Did she just fix me up for free? Oh. Thanks for the wellness pack. Okay, stretch. Oh, drink some more water. Grandma Axiom. <laughs> yeah, Bebop, you read my mind. Bean Toss was the first festival that I- Well, it was the only festival that I, uh- that I set up. Because Bean Toss is really fucking fun. Okay, I'm just gonna talk to people. Uh, actually, I should, uh... Reject that Wanted Monster quest, because he is way over level for me. Or I should just grind levels. Fronch Toss, no! Don't toss me! Oh, who's there? Oh, that's just an NPC. Yes? But they're all one star. Uh... I guess I'll go for the slime. I swear, if the slime is overleveled for me... If the slime is overleveled for me, I'm a cry. 
What is this game? It seems like the kind of game where you can murder things and make it cute. <laughs> this is like a... It's a farming sim and dating sim. Oh, wait. Martin. Uh, farming sim, dating sim, also JRPG with combat elements and a story. But it, it's a longtime favorite series for me. The ugly pink franges? Oh, okay. <laughs> Listening to the rainfall really puts my mind at ease. So you do a bit of mining yourself, I see. When you're out gathering materials, squeeze in some training by smashing rocks. Practicing now will help you a lot down the road. Also, Martin, you can see his fucking pecs through his shirt. They look like Mobby characters? You mean like Mobby Nogi? I, I've heard of that before. Yeah, that makes sense. It, they do both uh, have like the anime style. Okay, so the slime is in the northwest region. Martin's cool. He at least doesn't talk shit the very first time you interact with him. <laughs> okay, Bebop. I think we like very different things. I'm okay. Like, I love it when the character talks shit. Like, Riker? I like Elja and Riker. And and Elja talks shit about everything. Oh! I got free clippers! Oh, I know you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Elja just complains all the fucking time, and she's sleepy and cranky. Oh, it's the Franges! Hello, little Franges. It's time to die. Oh, I did a little flip. That was cool. Die! See, I like Elja, though. Ah. Uh, but then what's, what's the difference between Riker and Elja? Elja is, like, more cranky than Riker. I feel. Look at them? I know, right? They're cute. Is it because of the boobs? Is it the boobs? These guys are fucking annoying. They paralyze you so much. Oh, I think they're a little bit overleveled for me. Whoops. Time. Never mind, I'm gonna grind some levels. Riker just says some rude shit about you being in seed, I think? Oh, yeah, that's the first thing that uh, that he says to you. He, he's just like, well, he says you're okay. I think he just has, um... I think it's probably referring to some kind of backstory or history he has with seed. Which I think we might find out in his relationship events. It's also the boobs, yeah. The boobs really do help. Ah! Ah! <laughs> he just, oh, did you see how, how much she like took down my HP? Okay, I'm gone. Okay, I need a grind. Too bad I, I already like destroyed all the gates for the things I could destroy. Maybe I'll I'll go to the um dungeon again. The first dungeon that I explored. You scared the shit out of me? <laughs> I'm sorry, Cabal! <laughs> I just saw like the red name and my health bar go down by like two thirds, and I was like, ah! I have a hard time trying to figure out which button it's highlighting. Like, you see here? Which button is it highlighting? Is it highlighting yes or no? You would think it's yes, right? Because yes is the, is the darker one. No, it's highlighting no right now. I'm like, what the fuck? 
It's okay, I can take it. Good, I hope that that wouldn't give you a, a heart attack or something. Oh, I, because you're, you're hearing a lot of that from me. Come at me, Pip Squeaks! Oh no, I just destroyed the, the chest! Wow, 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 wow. Nice. I would say yes since it's the bigger one. Yeah. Amazing chest ahead. Your short sword le skill level is increased. You can now use charge attacks. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! Mm -hmm. I would say Elja has an amazing chest too. Amazing chest of ingredients that she uses in her food. Because she's a cook. <laughs> Charge attacks are so ass in this game. How so? Is, is it because when I was using that charge attack right now, I just charged past the, the enemy. I can see that being hard to control. Screams all holding a piece of grass. Uh, how I play Rune Factory in a nutshell. Okay, so we go down there. I, I did not go up here before, so I'm going to try and explore that. It's just the damage it does isn't even worth the amount of time it takes to charge. Yeah, I, I like the charge attacks for um, for the du dual swords because you could just spin around and then it just like does it for a while. I wonder if it's the same in this game. Because like I would just charge attack bosses with my dual sword and I would just like you would be like twirling for a bit, and I would just like rub up against them and just do a bunch of damage, and it was nice. Wow, 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 wow. Ooh. Oh no, giant bugs. Or, I mean, big bug. That bug is, like, the size of me. Make sure you use uncharged seal in... On lots of enemies? Road Factory, release the Onesans! Yes, please! It'll be useful co for collecting crystals early on. Oh, wait! I think I, uh, I skipped over the... the explanation. For, like, how to use the seals. So, that's how you get crystals? Also, hey, Diz! How you doing? We were just talking about Elja and her chests. Her chest of ingredients that she uses in her cooking. There's a free to use Rune Factory hat and armband. You can put it on your model? Wait, what? What? Wait, how do you do that? How do you put it on? It, it usually give you an item from the enemy with a chance to get a crystal. I sent it to you? On Discord? Oh? Oh? Oh! Oh, Rune Factory 5 VTuber assets. Oh, that's cute.
if I stream Room Factory 5 again, I'll I'll use it. It's really cute. Thanks for sending it. Dude's got the hook up. Yeah, I'll I'll try to use the seal. I'm just not used to using it in in uh Rune Factory, so I just gotta get used to it. But thanks for the heads up. Well... Oh, is this where the actual boss is gonna be? Like, the actual boss for this dungeon? Huge fallen trees blocking the road. I wonder what lies beyond it. Okay, this is gonna be like the second boss or something. Is it the seed hat? Yes, yeah, the seed hat and an armband. Has the game so far I've been trying to play it while I have some free time? Same here. I haven't gotten too far, but it's been pretty fun so far. I am, uh... Wait, how far are you in the game so far? I basically just, uh... Defeated the first boss. Which wasn't even that bad. As a boss, really. And I, I can now use, uh... Spell seals? To capture monsters. Not very. I can't even hurt squirrels yet. Oh no! Okay, so spell seal. Let's try to use that. Let's try to use the spell seal. Ah! So that's how I use it. Is that how I do it? Am I doing it right? Want me wanting to make me hop back into several other games I'm in the middle of? <laughs> okay, so... Ah! Come on! Okay, so I gotta lock onto them. That sucks. So if I've already gotten an item from them... Does it not let me get an item from it again? Oh, I got an insect horn. Okay, okay. But yeah, the game's been pretty fun. I like just like chopping away at, at the enemies, like in usual Rune Factory style, and getting to know the, the cool, cool villagers. I think once you get an item, you can kill them? Okay, okay. Wait, wait. I'm so close to dying. I'm so close to dying. I'm sorry I screamed in your guys' ears. Uh, how do I... Okay, I gotta learn the controls. Okay. Screech! <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a screecher. Y'all already know that. Yeah, these guys are a bit more formidable. Ah! I do not- I don't know why I screech while I'm on stream. I do not screech in real life when I'm playing this game. At least I don't think so. I'm scream- I'd scream too in that situation? Yeah. I don't- Like, for some reason- Streaming just makes me more vocal. Like, and it's not even a, in a kind of forced way. It's just like... I don't know how to describe it. Ah, it won't let me pick, me, pick it up. What the fuck? That's not, not, that's not fair. Maybe you feel more comfy here? Yeah, that's true. Oh god, I have so much shit. Uh Bye bye mushroom. No, I want the amethyst. What the fuck? Can I eat this rice? Nice. 
Okay, that's all I wanted. I only wanted the amethyst. Don't want to show everyone a non-gamer moment. <laughs> nah, I show you guys so many non-gamer moments. I know in comedy terms, when you're performing, you're on. So although you're not necessarily forcing anything, you're flipping a switch, sort of? Yeah, that's true. Like, it's like I'm aware that people are watching or like I'm with other people, so I'm more vocal. Yeah, I've heard streamers uh, describe that too. Like, they describe that they're just like more peppy or like vocal. What the f Okay. Okay, guys. I have three wardrobes. So <laughs> I got two extra wardrobes for a quest. I do not need it, so I'm gonna break it. Unless y'all know there's any use for it. But I, I do not really need. Okay, time to store stuff. Let's see. I want this. Bamboo shoe. Oh, I can't put it in here. Antidote grass. Honey, I can't store that. Insect horn. This. Clippers. Oh, I got a crystal. That's good. I got a lot of seeds. Holy shit. That's cool. Okay, also, I need to equip this. Hmm, wait, is this better? Blocking critical, critical hits. Oh, I don't care about that. Let's put the stick in the box. And the charm in the box. So I got fodder seed, pumpkin seed. This is for... Spring to summer, okay. Okay, this is all year round. I'm trying to figure out how to sort all this. Oh, I should probably ship some turnips, too. Wow, 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 wow! 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 Wow, wow! Oh, that music! I like that. Wow, wow, wow! Wow, wow, wow! Pike sashimi. I wonder who likes that. I'll oh, just sell this. Okay. I like how they have the option to just toss in everything that you have in your bag that falls into that uh, category. Very helpful. They already know what I'm gonna do. Okay, it's all organized. Nice. So I just gotta plant the seeds. Oh yeah, I, I need to give the crystal to the dragon, right? I have an earth crystal. Is it just a regular crystal that you can give to the dragon, or do you have to give it, like, a sp big one? Bow wow. Dragon. How do I... give you... Earth Dragon? Hey there. Oh. Uh, you have to go to the crystal shop. Oh, okay, okay. 
so I, I need a sp I need to do a special thing for it. Don't worry, Field. I will come up and and, and clean you up eventually. I like how the um, the field gets populated with more scrap during the day. Like, I actually like that because uh, I remember when I would play Rune Factory 4, I would just wait around for things to pile up whenever I was bored. I would just be like, okay, waiting for stuff, waiting for stuff. Okay, I'm running low on RP. RP. I also like how it doesn't consume RP if you haven't actually done something with your action. Like, if you use a hammer but you don't break anything with it, you don't use up RP. Oh yeah, here's my third wardrobe. It's just laying outside. Okay, I want to plant the extra seeds I have, so let's- I wonder if the onsen is still open. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Or actually, I could just go to bed. Oh shit, everyone's here. What? Oh, it's because it's like the whole family. Yo. Man, today sure was a busy day. How'd it go for you? This place is full of colorful, colorful characters. It kind of reminds me of Sylphia. Yeah, my home. It's really, really important to me. Ha! Reference the previous game. Woo! Mommy? I mean, Misasagi? Hello, Doodle. I'm pleased to meet you again. I'll always be grateful to you for saving my daughter. I hope that someday I, I have a chance to repay your kindness. Uh, can you marry me? I assure you that won't be necessary, but I appreciate the sentiment. A fine evening to you. Phew, I really worked my tail off today. I think it's about time to relax with Hina. He Hina simply adores you. You're all she ever talks about, even at home. Ahaha, that's a little embarrassing. Oh ho ho, thank you for always being so kind to her. Can we date, please? Uh, please? Uh, please? Uh, please? Yo! Yo! <laughs> Evening to you! You're still kicking this late at night? I gotta welcome guests at night too, you know. I'm kicking 24-7. Hey, D Doodle, good to see you. What can I do for you today? I'm real bad at keeping track of my expenses. Sounds like bad news for a business owner. Eh, I manage. If things ever get real hairy, I'll ask Misa to help me out. Hina! Big Sis is coming to, with a hammer to talk to you! Why is she always eating whenever I talk to her? In spring, the wind gets all whooshy and swooshy at night. Pretty weird, huh? Doodle, where'd you go walking yesterday? Was it someplace far away? You should take me with you sometime. Hina's so precious. Good evening, and what a lovely evening it is. Still, don't stay up too late admiring it. You need to get plenty of rest. Traveling's just so much fun, because you get to visit so many different places. There's that, but I think the best part about traveling is meeting new people like yourself. Isn't it wonderful to make friends wherever you go? Yeah, I guess. Bye, Margaret. As you can tell, I wasn't like a huge fan of Margaret in the previous game. She just wasn't interesting enough. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Also, um, another character that I want to marry is, uh, Terry? Terry, please? General shop owner? Can I- may I have your hand in marriage? Okay, time to use the hoe. There 
There you go. There you go. How do you guys uh, usually organize your fields whenever you play farming games? I'm kind of all over the place. Um, sometimes I try to organ like actually organize my fields. But it doesn't always work out. <laughs> RF devs. So the character should say something literally every time they use a farming tool, right? <laughs> oh, a tip? If you face a direction, spam B, you'll go in a straight line. Oh! Oh? Nice. Thank you for the tip, Bebop. It'll save me a lot of time. I usually plant blueberry bushes next to each other. Oh, do we have blueberries in this game? Well, I know that there's blueberries in Sturdy Valley. Hardy ones may grow again after harvesting. Okay, I don't know if I want to plant this many crops because I may not have enough RP for it. Just be careful when using the hoe. Oh yeah, yeah, you can destroy things. Oh wait, can I use my axe? Alright! Like, gave me a little heart attack. I did not want to destroy that. Please, thank you. No. Okay. Fodder there. Time to go to bed. Well, we already played through two days. I think? No, we played through it one day. Because the, the previous day was just nighttime. Does the female MC have. It's watering time as a voice when watering? No, she does not. <laughs> but that sounds hilarious if that's what the male MC says. It's watering time. Does he say it like that? Good morning, Livia. Good morning. Today is a nice day. Isn't the silo impressive? Even if a monster managed to make it inside, they still couldn't put a single crack in its walls. Has a monster ever attacked no. it? Nope, never, but Derek ran, ran straight into it once and bounced right off. What the fuck, Derek? <sighs> well, yeah, slept me. I cannot tell the difference between antidote grass and medicinal herb. And green grass. <laughs> like seriously, this all looks the fucking same, but I can't pick it up automatically. Ah, fuck! I know, that's Toy Herb. Is it? I have no idea. Oh yeah, this is nice. Okay. 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 
Spam B for great results. Oh, okay, she says watering time. But she only says it like, watering time! She probably doesn't say as cool like as, as the male MC. Study time over, French time now? Damn, you're studying for a while, Draken. Did you have your lesson too? Throw turnip into shipping box. Level up long swords. Never change, RF. Yeah, like... Just chuck it in. Just chuck it in. Don't even look back. I, I miss, like, being able to look from, a f like, top down. Um, like, just throwing it in. Like, I feel like it was more, um... More, more rewarding that way. Wow! Oh, ate dinner and had a lesson? Okay. So, you, it sounds like you were productive. Also, thank you for the well in this pack. Wait. Throwing the turnip leveled up your longsword? Wait, why? <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, well in this pack, stretch. Watch her. And we are primed for the pop. Let's go. Wet lips pop. Wet lips pop. Mmm, good pop. Wait, did I just... Oh! Did I harvest spinach? I don't even remember planting spinach. Also, I accidentally put all my turnips in there. I kind of need them to give to people. Or do I? Wait, did I not put all- oh. Okay. I can't think. I have no clue. I unlocked long sword charge attack for throwing turnips literally right now? Oh damn, you're playing Rune Factory too? Rune Factory, buddies? Rune Factory, uh... Unity? Deliver cold medicine to Riker! Can't accept any more quests, goddammit. I wanna give him cold medicine! Okay, time to... Wait, why... Why is there a giant exclamation point on the map? What? I mean, it's telling, telling us to go somewhere right now. Oh, what a, that this is an interesting bunch. You sure grown up big and strong. Nah, that ain't true. Of course it is. You grew up so fast. Quit embarrassing me. Oh, he's blushing. <laughs> but you'll always be a cute little cutie in my heart. Oh, is this like a town event or something? Huh? Huh, Yuki, Derek? Huh? It's not often I see you guys together. What's wrong, Derek? You seem kind of down in the dumps. Oh my, yes. oh my, are you? I've been telling you to watch your health ever since you were small, haven't I? Honestly. 
Honestly, you're gonna be a child forever at this rate. I ain't no kid. Oh, is this how you found out that, that Livia is older than Derek? Oh, you never say much and that worries me. Derek? I'm fine. Well, that's a relief to hear. Yuki, have you and Captain Livia known Derek for a long time? Oh yes, we've known him for a very, very long time. You are quite a handful back in the day, remember? Uh, yeah. Derek's not feeling particularly talkative today. Ah, uh, look at you now! You have an apprentice, apprentice and everything. I never would have imagined it, all the, all the tears you sh after all the tears you shed back then. Huh? So you had a time like that in your life, Derek? Oh, he certainly did. He cried all the time. Aw, oh, Derek was a, a little crybaby. <laughs> like when he went looking for Aura and got lost on the way back. That sounds awful. <laughs> ah, yes, that did happen. Everyone worked so hard to find him. I really owed you big time for that. You're not going to wander off and get lost again, are you? Ha ha ha. I don't think there's any chance of that happening now. Anyway, I think it's about time I got going. Is the field captain here? Yeah, this is the dead giveaway. She's reminiscing about his times as a child. Oh, it's you, Simone. Why are you here? What are you talking about? You asked me to bring these. Thank you. Alright, I did ask you to do that for me. Please don't let something like that slip your mind. Well, if it isn't Derek. Uh, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is such a, a gap because he's like an awkward teen or something here. You're just reminiscing about the old days with him. Well that doesn't that sound like fun. Speaking of fun, do you remember the time he Doodle, I gotta get out of here while I still can. See ya. <laughs> uh sure, bye. And where are you off to in such a hurry? Be careful or you, you'll trip and fall. Darn it! Look at Livia, she's so fucking tiny. We can't tell the story without its star. Derek, just go up and take a seat. I, I would, but I really need to get some work done. What is it? Come on, do you really hate talking to us that much? Well, no. no, that ain't true. Then stay a while and chat with us, dear. Okay. <laughs> feel kind of sorry for him. I do too. <laughs> you had a rough time back when you first started blacksmithing too. Oh yes, you weren't careful about balancing your books so your business was in trouble right off the bat. But I always admired your desire to deliver affordable products to your clients. Even though you're a complete failure as a businessman. Uh... Derek looks like he wishes the earth would open up and swallow him whole. But everyone pitched in to keep to help keep the smithy from going under, so it all worked out in the end. Yes, those were some good times. Derek's face suggests they were anything but. Haha, <laughs> I think you two will always see Derek as a child. Oh ho ho! You look like a deflated balloon, Derek. Are you okay? Uh yeah. Well, I've got an especially juicy story to say share. Do you now? What about? Hang on a second. I'm not sure Derek can take much more of this. What are you talking about, Doodle? I'm a doctor. If he does kill over, I'll examine him right away. Don't worry. He won't die of embarrassment. I don't doubt that, but... <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I brought some bread with me. Why don't we eat it while we continue our chat over there? It's just, it's just the older ladies like having their little gossip in front of the person they're gossiping about. Hey, there's an idea. Are you okay, Derek? They're gone. I'd better get my get going myself. Okay. Are you all right? I could walk you back to the smithy if you'd like. Now, nah, don't worry about me. I'll head back by myself. He he's just like a huge man, and then he's just there, like all blushing and and troubled. I, li I like the town events like that. Good work today. Oh, I can ask for backup? That's interesting. 
Wow, wow. Oh, this is the BS room. Wait, how did I level up bartering? Harvest the potato, raise everyone's friendship level, use my spell seal. Didn't I already do this? I guess I need to capture a monster with it or something. Build a monster barn. Okay. Let's uh, go talk to whatever his name is, the crystal guy. It looks like there's an event in the bathhouse, but I won't go there. I like avoiding story. Heinz? You there? Oh. Nice day today. Say, do you know the difference between weather and climate? You can't weather a tree, but you can climb it. Heinz? You're gonna fucking die. Well, I can't believe you knew that today was this old man's birthday. What? It's his birthday? Wait, is that true? Ha ha ha, don't sweat it. I'll look forward to your present next year, though. What? It seems like some of the townsfolk don't think I actually run a business. Can you believe that? Since you're underground, they probably ha just haven't noticed. I see. Maybe I'll make the floor see-through so people can catch sight of me from the surface. But if someone asks for a raise, then I'll have to break the glass ceiling. Heinz! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's probably not open until 9, so I'll just wait here. But Heinz and his puns. What the fuck? I bet the, the localization team had a, had a lot of fun translating his lines. You can tell that they had a lot of fun with, with this game. Because they have like really um, like creative wording for things. I'm putting on a little light jacket. It's kind of chilly in my room. It was hot and now it's chilly. Wow, 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 wow. Hmm. I'm just standing here for 30 minutes, not doing anything. Why is that? Did you see the dev blog about them having to manually replace a bunch of the generic voice lines? Like, uh... I, re I read one of the dev blogs about them having to, um, like, translate the different pet names that you could do, but I- no. What, what's the story behind that? Heinz, are you coming? Yes, he's coming. Like, were the voice lines, like, not- not interesting enough in the Japanese version? Okay, Heinz. I think this is the one. Use your glacies, Crystal. Okay, nice. Oh! I found a lost item along the side of the road, so I turned it into Dr. Simone. Maybe I should have taken it to the silo. Everyone's outside, goddamn. Hey, Cecil! Morning, such brisk weather really invigorates the mind, doesn't it? What's wrong, Cecil? You look pretty grim. Oh, hi, Doodle. Martin told me to quit playing detective. I'm sure he's just worried about you. Maybe, but I don't know what to do now. Why don't you try talking it over with him? If you explain why doing this means so much to you, I'm sure you'll understand. 
Just like when a character will say random shit during certain lines that isn't actually reading the dialogue, apparently they didn't, they didn't have a way to change those to start with, so they had to contact the devs. Oh! They used unique codes for each line of text to swap in voice lines. They then had to manually go in and add them where, all where they wanted them. It's what caused Xiao Pai from Room Factory 4 to randomly say happy birthday sometimes when it didn't make sense. Oh. That sucks. They have to like manually make it play during the dialogue instead of like programmatically just attaching a voice line to it. That that sounds like a pain in the ass. That sounds like it would take a, like be really tedious and take more time than it should. Oh. <laughs> Why is everyone going down south? Oh, is it a festival? Oh, it's it's Sunday. Basically, it's an interesting read. I'll link you in the Discord. Yeah, I'd be down to read that. La di da di le, what a beautiful day. How have things been on the farm lately, Doodle? I, um, I know it must be really hard, but with all the work you have to do, but you'll have an easier time using your farm tools as your farming skill improves. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Mommy. Good morning. Clear days like this always make me want to go for a walk with Hina. So, Misasagi, what sort of things do you dislike? Pizza, for one thing. The cheese is absolutely disgusting. Just thinking about it makes my hair stand on end. Okay, sorry, I don't like you anymore. Pizza's good. It's super nice out, and today's my turn to play as the field captain of rangers and monsters! Julian gets lost super easily, so we always use the buddy system. Wow, that's really mature of you, Hina. Yep, I'm the older one, so it's my responsibility. <laughs> Hina, you're so fucking cute! Good morning, it's absolutely beautiful today. Let's make- let's both make the most of this gorgeous weather. Traveling's just so much fun, because you get to visit so many different places. And blah blah blah. She already said this. Fuka, there you are. Uh, Ratsasala Salma! The weather today is so nice! Gala Ferdum, Rata Sparkly Kli! Your eyes, they're extra sparkly today! Kenyawa Sparkly Kli! But why are they so sparkly? Gao Tasha Mota Kososo Rain Ged Rain Hashashim! You must have a secret. Did something fun happen? Who boy, Fuka is staring at me with eyes full of anticipation. I just wanted to try reading her her lines for fun. Working hard? Working hard? Yeah. <laughs> language of the scrunkly. <laughs> I'm speaking the language of the scrunk. Okay, time to give the, the crystal to the dragoon. Wow, 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 hey there. Make it rain, even though I just watered all my plants. That probably wasn't smart. Farm change! Yes, I've been blessed with rain! I probably should have done that tomorrow. When I actually needed to rain. Wait, why is it still sunny? Oh, it just- it just rains on the dragon. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Ha ha ha! Don't worry, I only wanted to know the truth, so I won't tell anyone else about the dragons. Cross my heart! But in return, I'd love it if you could tell me anything else you learn about crystals. Sound fair? I hope I've made it crystal clear what I want to know. And I got Formula B! Nice! Oh! Deliver an item for Riker. So I have to give him... Cold medicine. I do not have cold medicine. But it seems like this is in a, a relationship event, maybe? Because it doesn't have the reward. Uh, what else can I do? 
I can build a monster barn and use my spell seal. Julian! Wait, I want to talk to Julian. I have to raise everyone's friendship friendship level. I'm gonna have so much fun outside today. Oh boy, he sure sounds like a kid. And then he'll grow up and not go outside. You're fighting again today? You betcha. Today's the day I win once and for all. He's gonna have a duel with Hina. Hmm. You like the hooded dude? Oh yeah, Riker. Yeah, I'm gonna go see him now. He's gonna build me a barn. Ah. He he does a backflip in the in the animation when he meets you. Wow 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 Hello, let me talk to Riker and he does a backflip! Yeah! <laughs> he just, like, I don't even... Like, why does that happen? Like, you're just walking home at night, and then all of a sudden, the the cutscene plays, he does a backflip, and you're like, huh? What was that? <laughs> like, literally, he doesn't talk to you at, during the cutscene. Yawn. Perfect weather for a nap. Welcome. We've got furn furniture for sale if you want any. Uh... I wanna renovate something? Welcome. Also, I hate how often they they check in on you when you're shopping for something. Like they say, find anything, take your time. or take your time, over and over and over, like every ten seconds. Build barn. Take your time. Take your time. Like I'm just Not looking. Really feel like it anyway. Do you feel like? So you're supposed to name this thing. Toy Herb. What do I name my barn, guys? He pretty? He is pretty. What do I name this thing? I'm really bad at naming stuff. I always name things the same in Harvest Moon. Like, I remember the farm. Like, I would name my farm in Harvest Moon Muffin. Muffin farm, because I like muffins, and I just never changed it. Uh, I'll just name it Muffin, then. That's the first name, it's alright. I built a monster barn! Hey, let me talk to you, talk to you. What, there's nothing worth staring at, trust me? Uh, I want to stare at your beautiful face. Glorious greetings! The weather is today is beautiful! Warmest of welcomes, come in, come in, what can I do for you today? Doodle, an auspicious anniversary has arrived! The anniversary of when you first opened your business? Nine! Today marks the anniversary of the day that Riker did not oversleep! Oh. That must have been hard to not oversleep. Okay, I I'm gonna claim the reward for this and then I'm gonna end stream because I've been playing this for an hour and a half now. The time flew by, holy shit. I remember I looked at the clock and it was like right before nine o'clock. And now it's 9.23. And I, I was like, you know, I, I'll, I'll end stream soon, 30 minutes later. So you built a monster barn, not too shabby. Let me use this opportunity to give you something nice. It's a brush. Use it on your monster friends every day to keep them clean and happy. Yay, I got a brush! No quest of, request available, okay. Let's save. Okay, thank you guys for coming to stream. It was fun playing Hotel Dusk and Rune Factory with y'all. 
Now I will end stream and continue to play Rune Factory. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't realize it would end the music as soon as the capture card ended uh, or stopped being on the screen. What do I play? What do I play? Oh, Kikoro released a new song three days ago? Here, let's play some Kirby music. Yeah, thank y'all for coming as always. Let me see, who do I raid? Speaking of Kirby, we'll be playing Kirby this Saturday because it comes out on Friday. So hi, 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 hi. It's been getting good reviews as uh, Bebop said in the Discord. And thank you to Opalite. Wow! We got the hearts in here. Wow! <laughs> Let's see who stream. Who's streaming? Oh, looks like Boomba is playing Rune Factory 5. There's a lot of people playing Rune Factory 5 today. Alright, let me. I'll raid Boomba. He's playing Rune Factory 5. Thank y'all again. I'll see y'all on Friday. We'll be playing um, more Yume Tuki. I'm, I'm trying to type while I talk and it's not working. Y'all want to watch Ubu wrestling in Discord? <laughs> Maybe. I'll probably just tune, tune in while I'm muted since I'll be playing Rune Factory. But, uh... Oh, I am tired. It's all setting in now. But yeah, I'd be, I'd be willing to tune in. I want to see who wins. I hope I come out the victor. Oh yeah, raid message if you have my emotes. It's this one. If you don't have my emotes, it's this one. Make sure to be friendly. Boomba's a cool dude, a cool caveman. And I will see you guys on Friday. Bye bye. See y'all soon.